1987 South Australia National Football League season is underway. Elizabeth Oval, North Adelaide versus Central District. Mike Parsons got the opening tap of the season. It went down, however, to Jamie Thomas. He pushed the ball through centre-half forward. Coming out strongly was Wildy. But now the Bulldogs are back into attack. Kicking it over the top was Lally. And it's a market full forward. The big fella, Rudy Mandemaker. The Bulldogs have opened in sensational style the 1987 season. Peter Krieg was out before the, the ball was bounced with a hamstring injury. Stephen Lally, the Perth Rover, came in to open the game and pushing the ball forward. Big Rudy Mandemaker has marked and has an opportunity of scoring the first one for the season. That's right through the middle. That's Rudy's first. A big start for the Bulldogs here at Elizabeth Oval. It certainly is, Dave, and that was extremely well done by Thomas to snare that ball in the centre of the ground. It was a long kick around his body, and it was well taken off the pack by Lally. He put the ball forward, and it was big man to make it that took a fine mark from behind, and that'll do his confidence the world of good to put one through the middle first up. It's a great start to the Bulldogs, and uh, things are looking pretty cherry ripe for him down here. Well, they're the pride of the Plains, uh, Kim. They started with the John Swan song, the pride of the Plains, the new uh, motivational song for the club. They ran through a magnificent banner. And a good crowd of about 6,000 people are here to witness this opening match of the 1987 season. North Adelaide now into attack. Forward they go. Coming out is Peter Bennett. He gathers the ball, was grabbed when not in possession. And umpire Rick Kinnear has picked up the infringement. Peter Bennett, too far out to score. A natural left footer. Looking for leads down forward. Coming out on the lead was John Roberts. The ball is pushed back by Jamie Thomas. Peter Bennett take two, tries again. Forward he goes, looking for Hart. Hart's underneath that, he can't make it. Back there was Shields. In fact, there's been an infringement picked up. And it's going the way of Daryl Hart. So, good attacking move on that occasion. I thought Peter Bennett was a trifle optimistic looking for Daryl Hart. He was swamped by Central District defenders. Now Hart goes forward. Out on the leagues, uh, Burton, Craig Burton, the former West Adelaide player. And at the true centre-half forward position, he's marked. Burton only, has only played two games for North Adelaide since coming from West Adelaide. 35 metres out, directly in front, an opportunity of a quick reply for North Adelaide. Last year's grand finalist, the kick's on its way, that's good too. Craig Burton's first, scores are locked away here at the three minute mark of the first term, one goal apiece. Well, a very fast opening to the game and that'll give uh, Burton plenty of encouragement as well. It's his first day game for the Roosters and it was a fine pass that was put into him through the agency of the new North Adelaide captain in Daryl Hart. Of course, Daryl Hart replacing David Tiller this year. He's been, I suppose you could say, demoted to vice-captain. Daryl Schramm has the ball at centre field. Parsons and Moles in ruck. Neither got a decisive tap away. The ball goes to ground. Jamie Thomas is scurrying for that ball. So too John Riley. Umpire Rick Kinnear decides to call it a day and have a bounce. David, you couldn't get better conditions. About 30 degrees. Very warm out there in the centre of the ground. And the, the, the oval looks absolutely immaculate. Here's the curator. Quickly tackled there. Extremely quickly. The free kick will go the way of Clisby, it appears. In fact, it'll go the way of Roger Carlo. Carlo opts for the outer side, looking for Big Parsons. Very well-placed kick. Parsons will have to do the bulk of the ruck work today with the Redden being out due to that knee injury. That's a fine pass by Tiller to Paul Arnold. And a lot of supporters wouldn't remember that Paul Arnold actually did start his football at North Adelaide as a forward. Although in the past four to five seasons, he's playing mainly as a full back. Kid comes in long. Roberts got a hand to it, couldn't control it. So that's the first behind for the day. And North Adelaide move on to 1 1 7, leading Central, one goal. Peter Bubner will bring the ball back into play for the Bulldogs. Of course, he's been in magnificent form in the last two weeks at playing full back. He kept Grenville Dietrich to two goals against West Torrens last week as Parsons goes forward. John Roberts holds his ground, got a hand to it. Bennett comes through, can't get a foot to the ball. In fact, he's tapped it across the line and through for one behind. Several new faces in both sides this year. Former Central District captain Stephen Trigg lining up on a half-back flank for the Roosters. Bubner pushes the ball out wide looking for Rowe. The poor kick, though. The ball beats row over the boundary line and the penalty free kick will be taken by David Sanders on the outer side. Sanders wastes no time. He drives it in long. 
back there is Roberts caught underneath that. Bennett couldn't control it. The ball comes to ground. Vigorous work by Stephen Sims, the former West Torrens player, who is in fact having his first game today for the Roosters after being troubled by a hamstring throughout the pre-season and Escort Cup series. North Adelaide players, of course, wearing a black armband today in respect for Colin Walsh, the team manager of North Adelaide. His wife died earlier in the week and we pass on our uh, commiserations to Colin. Not good news at all. Back with play. Hart had the ball on the boundary line. Van Dommel shot out the handball. Intercepting was John Riley. He's tackled when not in possession. In fact, the umpire said he was pushed in the back. No, it, in fact, the push in the back was to Rene Van Dommel, so even the players are confused. As finally the ball comes out to Bubner. Bubner mucking around. He goes now for a long kick towards Grandstand side. Gathering the ball is Jamie Thomas. He used his pace well, but he was well and surely caught by Darren Jarman and handballed across the line. Well, David, I mentioned many moments ago that Stephen Sims had been troubled by a hamstring throughout the pre-season in the Escort Cup, and he appears to be in trouble at the moment. He's in the hands of the trainers. He's limping badly. Let's hope it's not the hamstring for his sake. Yes, he would certainly be a fine acquisition for the Roosters if he can stay sound. The ball will have to come back. There's been an infringement picked out. It's going the way of John Riley. Right half forward, Riley, playing centre today on Jamie Thomas. Ball goes into centre half forward. Bubner's there. John Roberts has used his bulk to perfection and has taken the easiest of marks at full forward. Central District crowd are calling for a free kick. But John Roberts from 25 metres out, very slight angle, an opportunity of posting his first goal. Playing now with his third South Australian League club after playing with Woodville and West Torrens. The kick is drifting across to the right as it comes off the boot, and that's exactly the way it's finished. One point is the result. North Adelaide now advanced to one goal, three, nine points. Central Districts, one straight goal, six points. Six minutes into this first quarter, the pass pushed out towards Scott Lee. Lee plays on quickly. It's a wobbly kick looking for Shields, but it finds its mark. Shields bolts straight away through the centre of the ground. Another wobbly kick over the head of McGrath. Back there is Trigle. He's tackled quickly. Listen to the crowd roar. Umpire Rick Kinnear adjudicates a dead heat and uh, Stephen Trigg's going to be in for some bit of lip service today. Well, I think you can expect that, Kim. He's a former North Adelaide, uh, former Central District captain as Stephen Sims comes off the field, so he's certainly not well coming onto the field as young Ian White, the former PAC boy. Back at centre, big fly from the back was Burton, but at the front it was Pryor. He's taken the mark. He shot out the handball to Moles, who wasn't quite ready for it. Then in turn to Little. Little goes towards half forward right. Rene Van Dommel has a paddock to play in. He now steadies and chips in a short one. Looking for Rudy. He's on the lead and the big fella's got it. Good play from the Bulldogs. They look good when they go forward. Certainly far more direct than North Adelaide. And now Rudy Mandemaker. Only eight minutes into the first term, an opportunity of scoring his second goal. Rather ominous start by Big Rudy. Ball's only gone down into the forward lines on two occasions. Managed to capitalise with the first. Let's see what he can do with the second. A little further out this time. Nice kick off the leg, off the boot. Unfortunately, he's pushed that across the face of goal, so that gives Rudy a personal tally of 1-1. In fact, he's kicked the whole central score. Yes, he certainly looks in good form up at full forward man to maker. He's leading strongly, and his marking is very, very good. He has a solid pair of hands, and if they can get the ball to him at full forward, Central District certainly are going to be very lethal. Shields tapped the ball out. Being grabbed when not in possession. It's a Central District's player. And Stephen Anderson play on the call. It goes now to Hay, playing at full back for the Roosters today. His kick is a long one towards centre wing. Underneath that one's little. He's got a hand to it. He one grab, two grabs, not paid to the umpire. Now Lally on the left foot he goes. Over the head of Braddy. Coming out was Hay. Chip short. Roger Carlaw is his mark and he's found him. Roger Carlaw at left half back. No leads forthcoming. Played a little bit of stop-start football, the Roosters, already in this first term, and Michael Noonan wouldn't be happy. Now Lally again, he's open in fine form. Kick number three for him. It's not well placed, however, and David Wildey is marked. David Wildey, one of the most reliable defenders in South Australian football. That familiar drop-punt style, driving long, looking for Arnold. Off-hands by Brendan Little. He couldn't take it. Now the ball comes out towards Arnold, handled over to Trigg, now over to Daryl Hart. Roosters on the run, over the top, he was looking for Bennett, had to go in after it himself. Buckley opts for the safety of the boundary line. 
In there is White, crudely tackled. Play on the call. In fact, he's been awarded a free kick, and rightly so. Well, Kim, that was solid work. He knew the pack was uh, descending upon him, and he put his head down and played the ball, and he certainly deserved that free kick. A lot of courage by the young fella. Drives long. Roberts from behind. Bubner front is in. Roberts, oh, should have grabbed it. Off hands, Arnold. That's a goal. Second goal for the Roosters. They move on to 2-3, leading the Bulldogs. One goal, one. Paul Arnold's first goal, but it was certainly set up by courageous work by young Ian White, the former PAC boy. Earned the hard free kick, and he put in a long kick forward. John Roberts, in fact, was his target, and he used his body absolutely beautifully to body out Peter Bubner, and allowed, that allowed the ball to go over the back of the pack, where Paul Arnold read the ball much the better and was able to bag North Adelaide's second goal. Parsons opposed to Moulds. Neither player able to win the tap. White once again, quick handball to Sanders. Sanders' kick is long, front position hard. Well spoiled by Lee. Pryor and Burton lead for the ball. Graham in there, couldn't control it. Hard over the top to Arnold again, figuring prominently in the game at this stage. He over the end the ball as well. Stacks on the mill. And at the 16 minute mark of this first quarter, there'll be a bounce in the right forward pocket for the Roosters. North Adelaide have been doing most of the attacking. Central Districts have gone forward on two occasions and have uh, been able to score on both of those. A goal and a, and a behind to Rudy Mandemaker. Peter Bythin came out, got a hand to that. He's playing at centre-half forward. Trevor Rowe held the ball out and tried to keep it in play but couldn't. And the ball has gone out of play at centre wing on the outer side. Just on 10 minutes into the first term. It's been a fine opening for both sides. A couple of new recruits they're looking good. Rowe shot out the handball. Looking forward there to the young fella and Stephen Anderson. It's been out of, judged out of play and a throw will take place. 21 is Peter Bythine, the big centre half forward Ruckman for the Bulldogs. 28 in the red and white is Michael Parsons. Bythine got front positions but Parsons with, the, Parsons with the taller height got the tap. Now out through Riley. The runners of North Adelaide through they come. It's Clisby on to the left foot. He drives forward to centre half forward. Underneath that one's Arnold. Graham spoiled. Now gathers in the scrums. Puts out the handball to Moles. Moles is a little bit slow, but gets his kick away cleverly to Jamie Thomas, who shot out the handball quite casually. And he's paid the price as Wildey intercepts. Kicks the ball forward on the leads. Bennett. A little bit too far in front of him. In fact, the ball will run out of play. Right forward pocket. 25 metres around from the point post in North Adelaide's attacking zone. Well, we talk of players changing clubs. This one's changed his looks. Have a look at Buckley. Last year, you remember, he had that long flowing hair. And this year, he's had it all clipped off. Certainly looks a new player. Ball comes out in the direction of that player. He gets a wobbly kick away. Thomas leading in the chase for the ball. It's a high bounce. It was a lucky bounce. Now over the top to Shields. Shields tries to weave his way through the pack. He does, though, brilliantly. Now long handle over to Pryor. Bulldogs on the run. Pryor opts for a long screw punt. It was off the side, though. Manda Maker chases out there. Well taken by Trigg. Oh, he's ran himself into trouble. Holding the ball. Oh, once again, the crowd roar to the dismay of Stephen Trigg. Van Dommel. Quick kick over to McGrath. Shot from 40 metres out. It's true. It's straight through the middle. The Dogs move on to two goal one. 13 points. Trailing North Adelaide. 2 3 15. Yes, and you can lament poor Stephen Trigg playing against his old side. And there's an injured player just trying to pick up who it is. Craig Braddy's obviously not very pleased with the attention he received. Jason Rowe appeared to be the culprit, and the trainers are calling for a stretcher now, so that's not good news. I'll try and pick up for you who it is. It could be uh, Flintoff, David. Yes, it, it does appear to be Flintoff. Kim, I hope he's all right. Yes, it is. David Flint Flintoff, the former Hawthorne recruit. Into now his second season at Elizabeth. And he appears to be quite OK. Back at centre, Rick Kinnear has the ball. Bennett now having a run in the ruck. Tried to get the ball down to White, couldn't take it. Now it's stolen by Sanders. His kick out in the direction of Parsons, but it's been well taken by Buckley. Buckley out wide, looking for Thomas. That's a better handball this time by Thomas, but Graham took his eyes off the ball. Carlo went in solidly, hit heads with Stephen Riley. Now it's young Darren Jarman. Back to White. White's kick is long and high, hard in there, so too is Scott Lee. Buckley. Lee again. And he's won himself a free kick. Yes, the umpire judged that he was held when not in possession, Kim. 
That's the benefit of playing the ball. His kick is wide. Look at the young fella in Stephen Anderson. He gathers the ball in, hugging the boundary line. He's tackled by Carlo, and Carlo's hang held onto him well after the ball was gone. Well, he's played by Roger Carlo on that occasion. The ball had actually gone, and he tried to fling Anderson into the fence. Good umpiring by Daryl Schramm. Certainly was. Now, young Stephen Anderson. Wearing the headgear, the former South Warrnambool boy. Comes from Cowboy Neal's hometown. It's a well-placed kick up towards Moles, who took a great mark. Moles has the lead from Braddy. Chipping in his row, he couldn't gather in the ball. Now Wildy tackled strongly, gave away the ball. No free kicks at the umpire. Now McGrath over the top of it. He paddles it out, flint off, onto Anderson, onto the left foot. He goes short, he has Bythine, who got a B-grade bounce. Now Clisby out of defence, the big left foot drop punt. Forward it goes, Arnold's out, couldn't take the mark. Now Bennett, handball back to Riley. Riley shot out the handball to Carlaw. The runner at centre wing, chips in forward, looking for Hart. He's used his body beautifully, he's given himself a little bit of position. Now he can chip in centre. No, he hasn't. He's had a shot at goal. I think he tried to centre the ball towards John Roberts, who was leading out. The ball skewed off his foot now to play. I tend to differ, David. I thought he tried the reverse punt and he paid the penalty. Oh, Kim, Should I have played the percentages and centred the ball. Just looking back in the field, Stephen Riley is bleeding profusely after colliding heads with young Carlo. Sanders appears to be injured, Kim, also. So North Adelaide are walking wounded at the moment. They already have Stephen Sims off injured. And now Sanders appears to be leaving the oval. In fact, he is. Arnold's up and he's marked. Been a fine opening to the 1987 season. Both sides have given their all in perfect conditions for football. Kick number three for Arnold. Chips in forward. Burton, it is on the lead, but running through is Daryl Hart. So two options available then to Paul Arnold. He placed the ball perfectly. And now Daryl Hart, North Adelaide captain. An opportunity of scoring his first goal with kick number four. Drifting back, however, it's not going to uh, gain the desired effect. Three for one behind. North Adelaide advanced for two goals, four, 16 points. Three points clear of Central's on two goals, one. And Trevor Dixon's come onto the ground. He appears to be playing on the wing. The position is father. Malcolm Dixon used to play for, for North Adelaide many years ago. All out wide, Thomas Strong, Mark. Geez, look good in this first quarter. Well, he's played most of his football in defence, Kim, and since they've moved into the centre, he certainly looked a very vigorous player. And there's an infringement behind play, a crude tackle, and Daryl Hart's been penalised. Play on the call, Anderson chips in a pass, but it's not a good one. And Trevor Clisby holds proceedings for the Bulldogs. Now he drives forward, Bennett behind, front position, Moles. Riley couldn't control it, Hart could, then dispossessed. By Daryl Schramm will come in once again, and uh, the game's starting to heat up there. And that's not because of the sun, because of a few lost tempers out there. Well, Daryl Hart, free kick. It's an important game to both sides, Kim, and they're not going to give an inch. North Adelaide, last year's runners up. Central District finished uh, sixth after most people thought they would finish in the five. So, an important clash for both clubs at this stage of the season. Renee Van Dommel played tunnel ball. Ian White came through for the Roosters. His handball was astray, however. Finally, it was Shields. And Shields was hit heavily by Ian White, and I like the look of this young boy. Well, he gets to the bottom of the pack, David. He does the hard work, and uh, he certainly is a likely type. Recruited from PAC, playing in the number 13 Guernsey for North Adelaide. He looks like a player of the future. Arnold got the tap down. In fact, he was a law student at PAC, so certainly might even be able to help the umpires interpret some of the rules. Well, I don't think he'd be teaching law at PAC, David, but he is a law student now. Law student now, I'm sorry, Kim. Free kick's gone to Moles. Shepherding in the ruck was the uh, call from the umpire. Paul Arnold's not pleased about the decision. This will be only the third or fourth time Central Districts have gone forward. In fact, yet again, they're going short, so they're still not into their attacking zone. Finally, Jamie Thomas drives them up forward. Wildy's dropping back on that one. So they haven't been able to get past that centre-half forward position, and that's been their problem, Kim. Yes, indirect play on that occasion. Mark taken by Riley. John Riley, former captain of the North Adelaide Football Club, drives down the grandstand wing, looking for Trick. He got underneath that one. There's a big mark by McGrath on the back of Stephen Trick. Trick's not happy. He 
really had many reasons to complain. Graham's hurt himself, Kim. It looks like his left shoulder. Looks to be in a bit of pain. The handball went out to Graham. He was tackled strongly by Trigg. Coming through was Rowe, the former Port Adelaide under-19s medalist. And Carlaw dropped it. Scott Lee came out strongly. Good play, Lee. McGrath through. Graham and Lee, but there's been an infringement. Darrell Schramm has picked it out. It's going to McGrath. He was held but not in possession. Now they decide to play on Central District. They look much better when they do that. Forward went shield. Bytheme was held. Man to make a two. On the bottom of that was Lally. Peter Bennett uh, just made sure that he didn't get the ball out. So certainly some aggressive play in this first quarter. 20 minutes gone, in fact, for this first quarter. The Dogs 2-1-13. Trailing the Roosters 2-4-16. Bytheme to do the ruck work. Ball comes out and there's a fine mark taken by Brendan Little. Little over to Pryor, always giving plenty of rebound off that halfback flank. But again, the dogs have gone wide out looking for Man to make it. He leads Hay in the chase of the ball. Sells the dummy beautifully for a big man. Now lines up, kick on its way. Has been well taken back there by Peter Bennett. Well, full forwards are supposed to kick goals, Kim, but I feel Man to make on that occasion was very selfish. He had a number of opportunities to centre the ball. Chose not to, and now it's North Adelaide out of defence. Moles and Carlaw. Carlaw got a hand to it. Now the handball off to Riley cleverly. Good skills, Carlaw. Riley forward with a long kick, looking for Arnold from behind. Punched away by Buckley. In fact, it was Parsons that was at the front. Now Arnold shoots out the handball to Ian White. He can have a shot for goal if he's good enough. The little fella is good enough to get a kick away anyway, but it's off target and through for one behind. Peter Bubner to bring the ball back into play for the Dogs. Out wide to Thomas, and uh, he's certainly covering a lot more ground than John Riley at the moment. Kick number four, in fact, for Thomas. Over the top to Trevor Rowe. Now, this fella likes to run. He's had one bounce. Thought about the second. Now drives long, looking for Bythin. Clisby from behind. Bythin couldn't quite control it. Oh, well taken, Van Dommel. Van Dommel, long left-handed handball over to Stephen Lally. Lally has time to steady himself. Pop shot at a goal. Once again, across the face of goal for another behind. So the Dogs move on to 2-2-14, trailing the Roosters, 2-5-17. Stephen Lally, of course, a former Perth player. Played 12 games for the West Australian Club. And he's certainly shown fine form in the opening minutes of this uh, first quarter. Plimpton tried to gather the ball in. In fact, he's kept it in play now. He can centre it. And Braddy, it is, dropping back. Has it drifted around? Just enough for Braddy to mark inside the field. Brady will be on an acute angle. North Adelaide defenders minding their men. Brady, I'm sure, will try a check side from that position. Now he swings around onto the left foot, in fact. That's through the middle. Craig Brady's first. Good play to the big fella. Central District now advanced to three goals, two. 20 points, leading North Adelaide 2-5, 17. Well, firstly, well done, Flint, off to get that ball back into play. But an exceptional piece of play by Craig Braddy. That was brilliant by the big man. Ran around and popped that through with his left foot, which is not his natural kicking foot. So that's great skills by the big chap. And we certainly have got a game on our hands here. Well, there's only three points the difference. There's no breeze to speak of. Conditions perfect for football. Braddy now into ruck. Opposed to Bennett. For North Adelaide. Bennett had the sit. Got the tap down cleverly to Hart. Pushed it back with the handball to Bennett. Onto the left foot he went, but cleverly put off his kick by Van Dommel. Burton with the handball back to Bennett, who followed up well. Now he chips it forward, but who's there? None other than Scott Lee for Central Districts. His kick is a beauty. Out wide to Renee Van Dommel, who seems to have found all the spaces this afternoon. His kick is a shocker, however, and chipping in for North Adelaide is Trevor Clisby. Well, that's poor play on three occasions. They've given away possession far too easily, David. Kick number four to Clisby. Once again, runs around onto that left foot. Familiar action by Clisby. Over the top to Darren Jarman. Jarman drives long, front position. Parsons, too tall for Buckley. Ooh, and he's been taken out by Braddy, but I uh, think that was fair enough. Wasn't much in that. No, uh, you're right, Kim. Big Mike Parsons, former basketballer. Too far out to score, I would imagine. Looking for a lead. None forthcoming. The head of the square. From behind, by Mark Braddy. We're starting to exert an influence on this game, Braddy. He kicked the goal moments ago. Now he's back in defence. Big fella's finding form. Out it went to Rowe. Rowe playing at the centre wing today for the Bulldogs. Has the ball down now in the back pocket. 
nowhere to go, decides to go short over the top to Lally who's found space. In fact, it's Pryor. Pryor's fumbled the mark and I'm sure he'd be even smiling at that one, Kim. I don't know about smiling. Well, he, take he should have held. Well, he take those 100 times out of 100. And, of course, uh, I think he just took it too easy. Parsons in ruck, got the tap down. Rowe led in the race for the ball. But yet again, it's out of play. Maybe the recording of the Bulldogs' new song, David, has taken a little bit of energy out of the man. <laughs> Certainly a fine song, The Pride of the Plains by John Swan. They played it prior to the game. Got a good reception from the crowd here at Elizabeth Oval. Some 6,000 people. And I think most of those would be Bulldog supporters. Certainly would be. Stephen Riley, quick handle out the back, brilliant play over towards Jarman. Jarman left foot shot at goal. He's once again going across the face. So that is the sixth point for North Adelaide. They move on to 2-6, trailing the Bulldogs three goals two. Darren Jarman just off uh, track with that kick. He's been somewhat quiet in this first quarter. He's only had three kicks. So he needs to be finding the ball a little bit better. Marks a fortune for Shields. He marked the ball, fell into his arms. Now Graham with the handball. His kick was smothered by White and by Crikey. I've been impressed by this boy. His handball went out to Clisby. Clisby, so Clisby sold the dummy well, shot out the handball to Jarman. He's tackled strongly. Now the handball on to Tiller. The left foot's forward from Tiller. Hart's there for North Adelaide. He brings the ball to ground, shoots out the handball to Burton, who's the running player. Onto the left foot he goes. The kick is smothered. Now Scott Lee taps it out. Bubner, the handball. Jamie Thomas playing well, cleverly scoops the ball forward. Buckley on to Bubner, beautifully placed. Shields at centre wing. Just on to time on, kick four for Shields. Anderson. Umpire's calling for a 15 metre penalty. That was good play by White, however. He knew that the Central District players had the run, so he held the ball, trying to allow the defenders to pick up their men. They still haven't had time as Big Rudy Vandermaker comes out on the lead and has taken the easiest of chess marks. Vandermaker already has one. In fact, one goal, one from two kicks. Told one goal, one from three kicks. Lines up the goal, and that one's a shock. In fact, it may even be out of bounds on the full. So three direct shots at goal result in one goal, one and one out in the full. Well, Rudy has an action of leaning right back on the ball when he kicks it, and that may explain some of the inconsistency with his kicking. But it does certainly allow a far greater margin of Pereira. Ball brought back into play, out of side. Big leap, no one could control it. Now the handball comes out over towards David Tiller. Tiller's wobbly kick forward, Graham underneath that. Quick handball this time over to Jamie Thomas, definitely best man on ground at this stage. Short pass, oh, and he just saw Brad, he couldn't control it, taps it back towards Thomas. Now they're in trouble, the dogs. Now the handball comes back towards Bythine. Did it well for a big chap. Drives in long again, but it's misdirected and straight to Peter Bennett. Yes, you've called it well, Kim, misdirected. And that's the way they've played most of this quarter. The Bulldogs, I think, have had a good portion of the play. Every time they've gone forward, they've been very indirect. The kicking to position hasn't been what Cowboy Neal would have liked. David Tiller forward. Pryor couldn't gather that one in. Now the Roosters forward. That was Trevor Dixon with his first kicking league football. Now Scott Lee out of the back pocket. He's found Braddy out of side. With two and a half minutes into time on, so the Bulldogs will have to get a move on. They currently lead by two points. And there's Big Man to make here. I think there's got to be a move made by Mick Noonan. I don't think Stephen Hay has the pace, Kim, of keeping with Rudy Mandamaker. Well, David, he's been about 15, 10 to 15 yards behind on a number of occasions now, and uh, he's very lucky that Rudy hasn't kicked three goals on him already. Perhaps David Wildey to full back, Kim. Would certainly be on. One goal, uh, two to Rudy Mandamaker. I think uh, that kick even surprised us. The wayward full forward. Now the ball's come out to Bennett. Bennett crossed a row. He's marked at left half back. He plays on quickly with the handball. It was Wildy who ran down from full back after kicking the ball out, so he certainly followed up well as the siren sounds to finish the first quarter here at Elizabeth Oval. Central District, three goals, three, 21. Lead the Roosters, two goals, six, 18.
second quarter about to commence at Elizabeth and it's the Dogs by three points. And strangely enough, Stephen Sims has come back onto the ground, yet he's still limping. Moles with a tap straight down to Flintoff. Quick kick around his body. Wildy leads in the chase for the ball. The ball's sitting up nicely today with his firm turf. Hamble over the top looking for Trent. He got control and well taken Anderson. Anderson drives in long. Back there is Hay. Couldn't take it at the first grab. Now he covers well with a quick clearing kick towards the boundary line. Trevor Rowe showing plenty of dash. Might just beat it. Oh, he does so brilliantly. Oh, I can't agree with that. And the umpire was right there. Oh, David, I don't know how you saw that, but that definitely didn't go over the line. That's one of the dangers Kim of anticipating. I think he, I think, and I thought the ball was surely to go out of play, but Rowe did it very cleverly and kept the ball in. So, nobody's always right, Kim. They're certainly not, but uh, gee, it was right there. <laughs> well, you called it correctly. He probably did try and anticipate that. Bythene with the kick. Too far out to score Bythene. He could put the ball right into the goal square, however, looking for Mandamaker. That's just the way he's gone. The big fella's held his ground and marked right in the goal square. So we, we mentioned earlier or late in the first quarter that possibly a move was on. Mandamaker's obliterated Hay. He's had too much height, too much pace for Hay. Quite possibly uh, Mike Noonan might now consider a move. The runner is out, so it's possibly on. Five marks to Rooney Mandamaker. He's dominated. We're only 30 seconds into the second quarter. Fortunately, he was close to the goals, and that one sailed right through, but it wasn't through the middle. It only just scraped in. Rooney's second goal. The Bulldogs now advance to four goals, three. North Adelaide, two goals, six. Well, the runner has come out, David. He went straight to Mike Parsons, and uh, so he doesn't appear to be making a move, which one would have thought would have been on, but Mike Noonan has proved himself to be somewhat of a modern-day Nero in the past, and uh, he tends to just sit back and watch things happen, like he did in the grand final when he allowed Peter Maynard to run amok. That'll be interesting to see what happens. Writing's on the wall already. 27 plays 18. The Bulldogs have stolen a nine-point lead. Moles in ruck. Parsons it was with the tap. Straight down to John Riley. Cleverly tapped. The handball went over the top to Burton. And, gee, this boy's got some pace. Through centre-half forward he goes. Onto the left foot. The lead is on. And a big mark appeared to be taken there by John Roberts. Play on, said the umpire. Now Pryor bodied out by John Roberts cleverly. Now he throws out the handball. White was tackled. No free kick, said the umpire. Play on. Now an opportunity of a ball up. Well, the umpires are letting the play go today, and I think as long as they're consistent, that appears to be fine. My thoughts exactly, David. Moulds to do the ruck work. In there was Roberts as well. Ball comes to ground. Now out in the direction of Bubner. Bubner with heaps of pace. Pulls away from the opposition. Drives out a path. Fifeen ducked his head and lost control of the ball. Now the handball over the top, taken by Stephen Trigg, who gets a few boos from the crowd. Over towards Jarman, he couldn't control it. Hard in there, it's three on one, they should get it. The Roosters, now they do so. Back to Jarman, he drives in long. Bennett front position, couldn't take it. Graham, couldn't control it either. Left to Michael Graham, or oh, should I say Philip Graham again, and he receives a free kick for a trip. Yes, well, Philip Graham, I think, should have just got on with that. He had running players, instead he wanted to remonstrate with the player who tripped him, Stephen Sims. I think Sims knew that he was off and running. Perhaps that's a reportable offence when that happens, a deliberate trip. Now Little out wide. Shields is the man. He now comes towards centre field. Underneath that one's Jamie Thomas, who dominated the first term from centre field. He's the direct opponent of uh, Darren Jarman. This is kick number seven. Jarman hasn't done too badly, however. Now the ball goes forward. Flintoff. Chips it forward, he's bouncing it through, and that's right through the middle. Good skills to David Flintoff. His first goal, the, boost, the Roosters fifth. They advance to five goals, three. North Adelaide, two goals, six. Well, the skills of David Flintoff have been well documented on many occasions. As you know, he's nicknamed Magic out here at Elizabeth, and uh, that's an indication why. He's got superb skills. And once again, we see Stephen Sims coming off the ground, so that was a fruitless... Well, well, it was fruitless for North Adelaide, should we say. It provided nothing. All he managed to do was give a free kick away. So Carlo back onto the ground. Sims appears to be in a great deal of pain. I doubt that we'll see him back on the oval this afternoon. Tram bounces the ball. Charging at it was Moulds, who got the tap. It went down to Jarman, who got a scrappy old kick away. Burton had a B-grade bounce. Bursting through cleverly is Little. He's gathered the ball in, and he's used his pace well. Got the handball, however, out. Riley got it. Then Jarman. 
Now Burton diving forward, pushing it towards Parsons. He's tackled strongly by Van Dommel. Now Van Dommel butters up for the second opportunity. Out to row. The Bulldogs are running. They look much better when they go forward directly. Underneath that one's Anderson. He was manhandled. Now Umpire has seen the infringement. Jason Rowe's not happy with that. The little fella in Stephen Anderson. Playing the only second game for the Bulldogs. Has a kick 25 metres out directly in front of goal. He hasn't goaled to date. Kick number seven, but he's played very well since coming on midway through the first turn. The kick's on its way. That's right through the middle. Three goals in five minutes for the Bulldogs as they advance to six goals three, leading North Adelaide two goals six. Well, I think Coach Cowboy Neal could be winning the coaching honours at this stage. He seems to be exploiting the height of the North Adelaide defence. And Anderson far too quick and nippy for Jason Rowe. And uh, this was mentioned in many of the pre-game, uh, pre-match summaries, David. The height of the North Adelaide defence. Would they be worried by the quicker legs of the uh, Bulldog small men? And it appears to be the, the case at this stage. Well, I think the heat will have a tally factor late in the game, Kim. Just depends whether these little fellas can keep running for the Bulldogs. Bursting through was John Riley. In fact, Stephen Riley. He pushed the ball forward. Arnold got the handball away. Only as far as Buckley. He got it off to uh, the running player in Scott Lee. Now Jamie Thomas. He hasn't been approached by John Riley. I called earlier that he was playing on Jarman. In fact, John Riley is playing in the centre. Now Jamie Thomas again. And John Riley, to me, Kim, doesn't look fit. No, well, he's not Matt Harden, David. And you're exactly right. I don't think he is fit. In fact, I spoke to one of the North Adelaide players who shall remain nameless. And he said that John hadn't done a lot of work this season. So it's a big task to throw him in the middle on the biggest ground in South Australia in 30 degree heat and expect him to perform. I agree, Kim. Now the ball finally came out. Shields it is, lining up. Kick number six for him, 25 metres out. A goal attack. And he's put it through. So five goals in six minutes for Central Districts and this could be a match winning lead. Well, it's early days, but it's certainly a handy lead. And uh, just going on with what we were talking of before, it's Jamie Thomas who is setting up all the play for the Bulldogs and he's just got far too much run for Riley at this stage and Riley's just absolutely miles away from him and uh, I think coach Michael Noonan has a few moves he should be thinking about. I think you're right Kim, he's had a field day Thomas, he's had nine kicks, seven handballs and five marks, he's dominating, easily best player on the ground. You might well be right, it's time for a change. Back to the centre. Moles against Parsons. Parsons with the tap. Tried to get it down towards the young fella in Dixon. Now the ball comes back towards Shields. His kick is high underneath that row. And that's a fine mark by the youngster. Thought about the handball. Now decides to go back. Oh, hesitated once again. And now receives a 15 metre. Well, Kim, I disagree with that. He was definitely playing on. Brady ran over the mark and received a 15 metre free kick. And I think if they're off, they're off. Fine mark taken there by Moles. Amazing what a little bit of responsibility can do to a player. Of course, the loss of Cousins has really brought out the best in Andrew Moles. Anderson, quick to get on with the job. Gets around Dixon brilliantly. Now Spears in a pass, looking for man to maker again, just short of that player. Couldn't control it. Down to Lally. Lally round his body to Serge Shields. Shields is off. He bolts towards goals. The shot's on its way. It's through the middle. That's his second. And that's the Dogs' eighth. They move on eight goals. Three pulling right away from the Roosters. Two goals, six. We've only played eight and a half minutes into this second term. The Bulldogs are on a goal blitz. Shields coming down from his wing has scored two goals in two minutes. And they're doing now all the attacking. When they went forward in the first term, they were indirect. They're now playing very direct football and it's showing on the scoreboard. Central runner Peter Nix out just to keep the boys on the minds on the job. They certainly have got a run on at the moment. Back in the centre, Rick Kinnear. Moles with the tap once again. Flintoff couldn't control it. Riley in there, quick handle, well smothered by Moles. Well, in fact, Riley maintained possession. Now back towards Dixon. And Dixon wins himself a free kick. Well, he had a bit of a look too, Kim. A bit lucky to receive that one, I think. Dixon now long, looking for Arnold. Front position is Parsons. It's a good mark. Graham forgets to police the mark. Parsons plays on quickly. John Roberts making plenty of ground. That's a fine mark taken by Peter Bennett. And the Roosters certainly need a goal here just to steady themselves and to stop this run on by the Bulldogs. 
number seven for Bennett. And once again, it's been pushed across the face of goal. And the Roosters move on to two goal seven, trailing the Dogs eight goals three. It doesn't appear to be North Adelaide's day at this stage. They already have Sanders off injured. Stephen Sims came and went and came back and went again. Looks like a hamstring injury, so two severe injuries, and there may be a third. Peter Bennett just got a sprig mark in the thigh. He appears to be quite okay. Kick number eight for him, so he's played well. It's not a long kick, however, going towards Jarman. And flying high up there was Pryor. He gathered the ball in handball over the top to Bubner. Bubner's handball came out wide to the running player in Scott Lee. On it went to Shields. Shields going through centre. On the lead was Van Dommel. It bounced off his chest. Tiller gathered the ball in and now it's holding the ball. Good tackle, Van Dommel. Bulldogs doing everything right. Van Dommel just giving Tiller a little nudge on the chin with his elbow. Just reminding him to get off. Now Shields, he's covering plenty of ground. Shields goes for the dummy handball. Finally decides to give it to Anderson. Anderson in the forward pocket chips into Mandemaker. Big fella on the lead. Finally gets one from Hay. It's the first time he's been close enough to attempt to spoil. Mandemaker deep in the right forward pocket. The angle is very acute. Seven kicks already to Mandemaker. He decides to go towards centre half forward. Rowe chipped in for North Adelaide. Good play, Rowe. Now he goes forward looking for Arnold. Arnold using his body well. Took a magnificent one-handed mark. Now plays on. Out wide. He puts it in front of John Riley, who doesn't appear to have the legs. He wins this contest, however. Over the top to Burton. Burton evades Graham. Goes towards centre half forward. Looking up forward there. To Darren Jam, but it's only found Brenton Little. And a fine mark by Brenton Little, who, of course, is a former North Adelaide player, so he'd take de great delight in that mark. Kicks out wide, looking for Byfeen over the head, or not quite over the head of Clisby. Did it well. Now bounds away from Byfeen. Byfeen has no pace whatsoever. Clisby even has time to have a fumble. Now straightens up on that left boot. Drives very long, but he's run too far, so nothing going right for the Roosters. And the ball will come back and be taken by David Buckley. Buckley to the outer side, looking for Byfeen once again over the head of that player. McGrath couldn't take it. Trig in there. Let's see if he can get a clearing kick this time. Does so and finds Bennett. As we mentioned before, Bennett playing exceptionally well on the ball today. His pass goes centre field towards Stephen Riley, who's been very quiet. Not quite adapting to the ruck roving role as one would have liked. He looked for young White, and he's received a free kick. And 10 out of 10 for courage to this lad. He certainly holds his ground. Well, I said it earlier, Kim, he looks like a very good recruit. He's got tremendous courage. He goes at the ball, and he tackles very, very strongly. And if he can maintain this form, he'll be a very good player for North Adelaide. Well, in light of the fact that they've lost their number one rover, Antrobus, David, uh, I agree with you. He'll be a very handy player. He plays a very similar uh, vein to uh, Daryl Hart, too. So good, aggressive two good aggressive ball getters roving for North Adelaide It'd be a bonus for McNernan Let's see what he's like with a set shot for goal umpire makes a little bit of ground and once again they push to the left side of the goal post North Adelaide move on to two goals eight which is surprisingly inaccurate for the Roosters Central District's eight three one of the problems Kim is that North Adelaide aren't getting the ball off their half back line like they're used to when they go forward quickly they look much better Rowe with the kick for centrals. Coming out was McGrath. He couldn't gather the ball in. Stephen Riley sees it safely across the line. We're throwing at centre wing. They played just on 13 minutes into the second quarter. 51 plays, 20. A 31-point lead to the Bulldogs. Bennett from behind. Got the tap down. McGrath there with applying the tackle to Riley. Now Bennett shooting out the handball. The running player in Trigg. Trigg gets the Bronx cheers from the Bulldog supporters. Of course, he's been a former captain. John Roberts got one high as he marked that ball, and maybe a 15-metre penalty will apply. That's just the way Daryl Schramm's going, too, so it's going to make this shot at goal a little bit easier for John Roberts. He has one already. In fact, no, he has a point only to his name to date from two kicks. This will be kick number three for the full forward. And I'll need him firing if they're to get back in this game. That's right through the middle. Goal number one to John Roberts. North Adelaide advanced to three goals, 8-26. Trailing Central District on eight goals, 3-51. Well, John Roberts doesn't take the big high-flying marks like he used to. He certainly doesn't get off the ground like he used to. But he has a 
heap of experience and he uses his body extremely well. He's a very strong man. He stands about 6'3 and he managed to nudge Bubner out of the way then and take a fine mark as well as copping one very late from Brendan Little. John Roberts' ability is his body work. Uh, Peter Bubner's ability is his speed and pace. And uh, a little bit of height advantage over John Roberts. Now Hart, smothered by Phil Graham. Another pack will develop, so some good vigorous uh, attack on the ball today. And yet again, Daryl Schramm will come in and bounce. Perfect conditions for football, Elizabeth Oval. A fine crowd of about six or 7,000 people coming to watch the opening game of the 1987 season. Moulds with a kick forward. Underneath that one's Anderson. He used his body very well. Jason Rowe was equal to the task. Bursky's way through was by clean. Anderson was held, but not in possession. The umpire has seen it. So the little South Warrnambool Rover playing his first day game for the Bulldogs has been in outstanding form. Ten kicks to him. Through to Shields, drifting down from centre wing. Stephen Triggers, his man, just shaking his head, wondering what he can do. Shields. 45 metres out, directly in front. Kick number 10 for him, so he's also played very well from centre wing. Kicks on its way. The goal umpire's coming across slightly, but that looks good. That shields third this quarter. The Bulldogs race away now to nine goals, three. North Adelaide, three goals, eight. Yes, that's Russell Shields' third goal. In fact, he's kicked the last three. And, uh, in fact, that's young Trevor Dixon's man. No, it's not those changed wings. Rowe's gone on to the other wing. They've just made the change, Kim. Yes, in fact, Stephen Trigg is standing McGrath, so we better not credit uh, that loose bit of checking to him. Fine goal, Bulldogs full of plenty of run. Yes, and that's exactly what they're doing well. They're running the ball. Now a free kick for an infringement for a player coming into the square before the ball was bounced. Mould receives the free kick, goes forward, by things up. He got hands to the ball, couldn't mark it. Handball that's straight to Peter Bennett of North Adelaide. Coming through was Rowe, he put it up, in front was Graham, couldn't gather in the mark. Paul Arnold, good body work. Now John Riley with a kick forward. No luck uh, for North Adelaide. Now finally Darren Jarman bursts his way through and on the left foot he goes. Can he pop it through? He has. That gains a little bit of respectability. North Adelaide, four goals, eight. Central District's nine goals, three. That's the first goal to Darren Jarman and he's had six kicks. Better play by the Roosters. Quick reply and a much needed one. Just getting back to that wing situation. Uh, Carlaw has been moved on to Shields, who, as we mentioned, has been running amok. And Trevor Rowe is, in fact, on Trevor Dixon. 16 and a half minutes gone of this second quarter, and it's been all the Bulldogs. All the Bulldogs is right, Kim. Central Districts fans here at Elizabeth Oval have certainly got their money's worth. One wonders what Mick Noonan can do to re-motivate his side and get them mobile. Braddy in ruck got the ball down. Jarman with the left foot kick forwards a beauty towards centre half forward, but drifting back on it and take a magnificent mark is Scott Lee. He's played well today in the back pocket. Kick number seven for the defender, so good work. Braddy. Roger Carlo attending to him, making sure he doesn't play on. A 15 metre penalty has been applied. Braddy doesn't decide to take it. On he goes to Buckley, who has the left foot forward. Chipping in is Jarman. So Jarman with three kicks in the space of 30 seconds is coming right back into this game. Out wide, Carlaw. Handball over the top to Bennett. Bennett gets the handball onto Wildy. Back to Bennett in the one-two. Now onto the left foot goes Bennett. Looking for John Roberts up at full forward. Bubner from behind with the big fly. Gave the big punch away. Ball was punched forward. Jarman came through. Stephen Riley was taken out strongly. Buckley handballs forward. Looking for Flint off. Pryor with the kick. Tackled strongly by Ian White. Bennett shovels the ball out to Burton. Now he can line up the goals onto the left foot. He's a bit far out to score, perhaps. He's lobbed it right in the goal square. Drifting back on it is David Buckley and has marked on the last line of defence. Fine defensive play by Buckley. Hasn't got much to kick to at the moment. Decides to go short through the agency of Lee. Lee back to Buckley. They've worked it out brilliantly. Now over the top to Graham. Now they've got some space to move the dogs. They're playing good football at the moment. It's a wobbly kick, though. Well spoiled by Thomas. Down towards Rowe, who's been quiet. Has time to steady, lifts the eyes, decides to drive long, looking for Lally. Tiller back there with him. Nearly took a fingertip mark. In fact, he's been awarded a free kick for being held without possession. The North Adelaide vice-captain also receives a 15-metre penalty. Drives long, looking for Bennett. Bennett attacked by Flintoff, and the free kick will rightly go back to Bennett. Has Carlo on the other side of the ground. Decides to stick to the grandstand side. Big Parsons, that's a fine mark. 
Nearly at the 20-minute mark, there's a little bit of byplay there. Two players decide to have a fight. Meantime, the ball pops over to White. I can't work out Scott who that Lee is. Scott Lee it is, uh, Kim, and I can't pick up the North Adelaide player. Well, it's a bit hard when your head's three foot into the ground, I suppose. Now they're getting serious. That's think Stephen Trigg, it was. Well, I think if you're going to do it, you may as well do it properly, and that's what Stephen Trigg and Daryl Hart decided. Hart came through very vigorously. He doesn't take any mucking around. Umpire Rick Kinnear has to try and sort that out, and that's the benefit of the two-umpire system. Play can go on while uh, the other fellows can enjoy a skirmish. Well, in fact, whilst all that was happening, young Ian White decided to have a drink, so he used the time sensibly anyway. White thinks he can make the distance from there. Kick number five. Looks reasonably good off the boot. In fact, it's brilliant off the boot. That's a goal. That's a first goal to the young North Adelaide Rovers. So the Roosters move on to five goals, eight, trailing the Bulldogs, 9-3, and they're clawing their way back into this game. Well, I don't know about clawing their the way back in, Kim. You know, they've only scored three goals this quarter while, North, uh, while Central Districts have been able to get six. It's a handy goal, all right. We're just uh, now... 20 minute mark of the second term but they'll need a couple more before half time if they're to get back in this game certainly will they've kicked three in the last six minutes back to the center Braddy having a run on the ball lost the tap to Bennett now Riley in there tries to always gets a handball out John Riley he's a freak in packs over to Darren Jarman Jarman long kick underneath it is Bubner couldn't take the mark recovers well handball out looking for Buckley now Buckley over the top of the ball had a touch of the fumbles Eventually, we see the ball being worked over the boundary line, rolled in front of the scoreboard at Elizabeth Oval. And it certainly is a beautiful sight today. Yes, Kim, conditions ideal for football. I think they'll be a little bit tired late in the game, however. 30 degree temperatures here. Crowd enjoying the sunshine. Players certainly will need to take in a great deal of fluid at half time. Yet again, a ball up. 57 plays 38. It's the Bulldogs in the lead by 19 points. One stage they led by 27 points and in fact they led by 31 points at one stage and were looking very, very good. Well, apart from the move of Carl or David, uh, Michael Noonan hasn't made any other moves. He's kept Hay back on Mandamaker and I suppose if you have a look, Mandamaker's only kicked two, but by geez, had about eight kicks. He really should have four or five on the board by now. And he's continuing to leave John Riley in the middle of the ground. Yes, well, I think that move's got to change. Jarman certainly coming into the game as a ruck rover, but possibly his influence would be better served at, uh, at centre. John Roberts at full forward when he's had opportunities. He's done well. He only has one goal, John Roberts, but uh, from very limited opportunities. One goal, one. The former West Torrens and Woodville player. Certainly very, very experienced as John Roberts. He's played uh, 235 games. You shouldn't have said that, David. It happens every time. As soon as you give him a rap, doesn't it happen? Out of bounds on the full from John Roberts. And who could have expected that from an experienced player? Ready to take the kick. Runs around onto that right boot. Drives long, looking for Brendan Little. It's three onto one. The ball comes to ground. It's four onto one. Jarman back to Stephen Riley. Riley out wide, but it's a misdirected kick. And it's been taken by Scott Lee. Rugged chap, Scott Lee. Certainly not scared to get his head over the ball. Pass in short towards Shields. Shields spills it, spears out a pass looking for Bythen. He couldn't get down to that one. Now Tiller in there. He's being pressured by Lally. He did it well. Quick handball. Missed his mark. Trigg in there. Beautifully intercepted. Now drives long, deep into the forward line for the Roosters. But another fine mark taken by Pryor. And he bolts. He's off. He's got Jamie Thomas. Decided not to go that way. In fact, he's going to kick over the line. He's found one better. That's Trevor Rowe. Rowe had plenty of space. Dixon in pursuit, but Rowe has all the time in the world to steady kick number six, and it's an absolute beauty. Man to make it too far out to score. He want to get it in quick one-on-one -on -one to Bythine. Decides to go across ground, and has found Van Dommel. Anderson provides a lead. That's ignored. Now it's Moulds. One grab, couldn't take it. Play on the call, off hands. And the kick is not good, and it's taken by Stephen Trigg. Yes, it was Lally who read the ball off the pack, but his kick, however, was not a good one. Trigg out wide to Carlaw. Over the top to Jarman is the natural move, and that's just the way he goes. Stephen Riley has a paddock also, and Jarman goes to him. It's not a well-placed ball, however. It bounces up fortuitously. 
Stephen Riley chips in looking for John Roberts who's out on the lead the big fella's up and he's marked so when they've gone forward North Adelaide they've looked good and they've gone forward quickly they've looked good John Roberts one goal one and one out of bounds on the pull we've seen him miss from this distance before it can be a very sloppy kick pops it straight through the middle reverse psychology to John Roberts that's his second. North Adelaide now advanced to six goals, eight, trailing the Bulldogs on nine goals, three. Well, we mentioned before about John Roberts' strengths, and that's certainly his overhead marking. That time he didn't have to use his body. He read the flight of the ball far better than his opponent. And that's his second for the quarter, and the Roosters have now kicked four in this quarter. So, as we mentioned earlier, they are edging their way back into the game. But by crikey, they would want to. They got miles out of their depth before. Well, they're now only trail by uh, 13 points, so they've they raised a fairly large deficit of 31 points at the opening part of this second term. They're not out of this game by any stretch. Now White, he's been a star for the Roosters. Clisby's played solidly at centre-half back also. The kick comes out wide, looking for Arnold, but there's that man again prior. He's done it so well today. Drifting back on the ball, he's been one of the stalwarts of their defence. Kick number five for him, but it's been the defensive work rather than the kicks that has made his game outstanding. Flintoff had the ball punched away by Clisby. Now Ian White. On to the left foot he goes, looking up forward for Arnold. Over the top went Scott Lee. Tapped it out looking for Pryor. Burton, the clever tap over to Arnold, who in turn on the left foot has found the big fella in Parsons. He fumbled the mark. John Riley threw it out. Umpire didn't see it. Yes, he did. Rick Kinnear, the man right on the spot, has picked the throw from Stephen Riley. And back in defence there, Brendan Little will take the free kick. Little decides to go short to Scott Lee and finds his mark. Lee's off, wastes no time at all. Kick number 10 for Lee. Drives long at the back of the pack and it's well taken by Stephen Trick. Trick's got Carlaw in the centre of the ground. That's the way he decides to go. It's a good kick, beautifully positioned. Now the handball over the top to Rowe. Rowe has to use the left foot, pushes it out to John Riley, who's lurking down the forward lines. Maybe a move has been made there. He paddles the ball in front of him. Well pressured by Lally there. Now Buckley over the top. Players diving, working hard. Lally held without possession. Play on over to Darren Jarman. Quick kick on the way. He's offline, and that's a point. So the Roosters move on to six goals, nine. Trailing the Dogs on nine goals, three. Well, Kim, the difference has been there shooting for goal. North Adelaide, 15 shots at goal. Central District have only had 12. But the Bulldogs lead by two goals, and that's been the difference, I think, as much as anything. It's been their inaccuracy at kicking North Adelaide. As they've moved the ball forward, they've looked good, but I think Central Districts have uh, moved it better around the ground. Well, David, uh, Coach Noonan has made a move. Darren Jarman has gone to the centre of the ground and Stephen Riley appears to be out on the flank. Buckley, looking for Anderson. Rowe intercepts. Now the ball comes back towards Lally. He couldn't take it, lost it. Well done by Rowe. He streams through the centre of the ground, drives long, looking for Roberts, front position. Great mark, Roberts! Oh, and as you mentioned, David, when they bring the ball in quick, it certainly makes them look a better side and John Roberts a better player. Opportunity for goal number three, all in this quarter. About 40 metres out. 28 minutes gone of this second quarter. Kick number five. He's pushed it across to the right. So that gives him a personal tally of two goals, two. And the Roosters move on to 6-10, trailing the Bulldogs 9-3. Was now only 11 point margin, five marks to John Roberts, so he certainly had uh, good use of the ball when they put it in, put it into him well. Shields, cleverly Dixon onto the left foot, goes forward, Parsons there couldn't mark. Cleverly tapped over by Burton off the foot of John Roberts, through for one behind. So that would have been a sensational move, reminiscent of uh, Maradona at the World Cup if that one had gone through. It certainly would have been. That could have been just the goal to lift the North Adelaide side. Ball on the outer side, it appears to be Braddy. Braddy with a very high kick. In fact, he nearly hit that blip that's on the other side of the ground. Jason Rowe in there again, working hard for his side. In fact, it's Clisby, and he's earned himself a free kick. Thought about the handball, now does so. Over to Jarman. Jarman drives in long. Back of the pack is Burton. Oh, he got up a mile high, couldn't control the mark. Over the top is Buckley. John Roberts is having a few words with umpire Rick Kinnear. So too is Stephen Riley. I bet you who gets the final say. We know who does, Kim, but we should explain what that blimp's all about. There's an advertising blimp high above uh, Elizabeth Oval this afternoon. 
reminiscent of uh, Alan Bond's advertising. Now Lally. Cleverly evades the tackle. Off he goes onto the left foot. He's got no one to go to, but Anderson is hopelessly outclassed. Three to one. Bennett off to the running player and Wilder. His kick is a shocker, and he's only found uh, Philip Graham at centre half back. Now, Graham's a trifle too small normally to play, but he's been mo mobile. He's played on Paul Arnold. He hasn't done a bad job. Now he decides to go off. Arnold dived at Graham, couldn't tackle him. Graham's kicked the centre half forward, looking for Moles. Van der Maker from behind. Bennett copped a high one from McGrath. In fact, it was an elbow he copped. Play on, says the umpire. The strand behind play warns McGrath for the high elbow. Arnold centre half forward, dropping back behind Graham. 75 metres out to, from goal. He decides to go short on the leash. John Robertson, a big mark to the full forward. Well, that's a good mark in any conditions. Today is perfect for that sort of football. And John Roberts has taken another good mark, mark number six for the full forward. 35 metres out, John Roberts. Two goals, three to his name to date. A goal here would be very, very handy. They trail by 10 points. They could probably go into the long break with only a four point deficit. The kick's drifting around and hands, it's gone through for a goal. Three goals to John Roberts. The Roosters trail by four points. We've played just on 29 minutes into the second term. Well, John Roberts does appear to be getting a lot higher in the air than he has the last season or so. And that was a fine mark, and he's certainly been the live wire up forward the Roosters have needed. He's kicked three goal two this quarter. Number of fine marks, and all of a sudden the Roosters are back in this game. John Roberts has gold at the eight-minute mark, the 27-minute mark, and the 30-minute mark. So he's doing a good job at full forward. Mould and Bennett. Bennett cleverly with the tap down to Hart. He was tackled as he got his kick. It went out wide to Stephen Riley. Long kick into the forward pocket out. R Rundles Parsons. He got his hand to the ball but couldn't mark it. Now a free ball. Who can recover best? The siren has sounded to finish the second term here at Elizabeth Oval. North Adelaide have made a remarkable comeback to finish seven goals, 11.53. Central Districts, nine goals, 3.57. The margin is only four points. points they led by three points at quarter time they increased their lead to 31 points midway through the second term but North Adelaide were good enough to reduce that lead to four points at half time and in a surprise move Jamie Thomas who's been best on the ground for the Bulldogs in the first half is on the interchange bench back with play all came out to heart he was tackled strongly he couldn't get clear of the pack and umpire Daryl Schramm will bounce it up. And Kim, I've been very impressed with the way North Adelaide came back. We almost wrote them off midway through the second term. Well, I've got to be honest, David, you almost wrote them off. But uh, they did bounce back well. Just getting back to Jamie Thomas, there would have to be something wrong. He hasn't been taken for the ground from the ground for disciplinary or any other reasons. I would say he's definitely looked a little bit proper, and I'd say he's got a leg problem of some nature. The ball's driven in along, and there's a fine mark taken there by Andrew Moles. Moulds plays out wide and quickly towards Graham. Graham flanked by Anderson, now decides to use that play. He's got time to lift the eyes now. Short pass in towards Russell Shields, who was a dynamo there in that uh, second quarter, kicking three goals. That's a long kick. In fact, it's his seventh kick, but it's been well spoiled by Stephen Riley. Back to Shields, Kim. He kicked three goals uh, in that third term, but it wasn't just the three goals. It was the scoring opportunities that he gave his other forwards. He played on very, very quickly and was very, very damaging. Bennett, superior body strength. Now the ball comes down to Bubner. Stolen by Rowe, he's besieged upon. Bubner in there again, so too is Trick. Oh, grab that one, uncontested. He want to be quick here, just managed to evade the tackle. Now drives long, looking for Arnold. Over the back of the pack, this allows Phil Graham to pick up the crumbs. Over the top to the vice captain in Pryor. Pryor with that familiar long torpedoes group punt. It's an absolute beauty, and that's a courageous mark to David Tiller. Tiller out wide to Jarman. Jarman now, after being moved into the centre in the second quarter, is about to have kick number 14. Pushes it out, looking for Dixon. He couldn't control it. Stephen Schwert onto the ground, and he has replaced Jamie Thomas. Yes, of course, John Riley started the game at centre field for North Adelaide. McNernan made the move, shifting Jarman into the centre, and that's one of the main reasons they got back into the game. 
32 is Arnold for North Adelaide. 25, Mould. Mould's had front position. Down the ball went to Hart. He shot out the hand ball. But Joe Trimboli, who's now onto the field, of course, Trimboli came into the game uh, just before the start of it when Krieg couldn't take his place in the starting 20. Krieg had a uh, hamstring injury. Now, finally, the ball's come out wide. Trevor Rowe chips in towards centre half forward. Russell Shields drifting down from his wingers mark again. He plays on, lines up the goals. It's a beauty too, but it's just offline. Distance was good, accuracy wasn't. Russell Shields has posted his first behind for the day. That takes his tally to three goals, one. Hay brings the ball back into play out wide. Bennett's been left unattended. Has time to pick the ball up, back towards Tiller. Oh, short kick intercepted and well taken by Bennett. Certainly wasn't meant for that player. Arnold couldn't grab that one. Hart looking for the crumbs. Now it's Van Dommel, the ever-reliable Bulldog captain. Moulds over the top to Pryor. Pryor in turn towards Trimboli. Byfeen couldn't take that. He's not having a good day, Peter Byfeen. Now the ball comes out towards Jason Rowe. Rowe with a long handball over to Carlaw. The Roosters now about to show some run. He's had two bounces, three bounces. Four. He want to start looking for Roberts now. Thought about the short pass. Pops it over to White. Now, whilst they've maintained possession, White was off then nearly. Whilst they've maintained possession, now the players are back checking Roberts. Drives in long. He hosts the players down then. Not cleanly taken by either of them. Or any of them, should I say. Van Dommel over the top. Row down there. And the fact it was Parsons, and he has kicked a point. Well, they look a little bit da more dangerous to me, North Adelaide. They're being very aggressive up forward. They had three or four occasions where they could have had a shot for goal, and they just kept burrowing in. So finally, Parsons had the shots. Now, 15-metre penalty. The umpire said that uh, Russell Shields hadn't played on. I thought for mine he might have. Now, off it goes to Lally. Lally bounding through centre. He's run too fast to the umpire, and he's brought him back. Well... I don't know how you saw that, Kim. Yes, it was... Uh, well, it could have gone either way. I probably would have let it go. Umpire Schramm was the man who... The judge that he'd run too far. Finally, Jason Rowe for North Adelaide. Moulds is there for the Bulldogs. The bottom of that pack. As Schwert has now come onto the field, number 40. And 30 for the North Adelaide side is Trevor Dixon, the former Port Augusta player, recruited to the Roosters this season. Shram bounces. Parsons got the tap down. Dixon was in there. So too Schwert again. So action replay. We're now just uh, five minutes into the third term. 58 plays 54. Four points still the margin. That was the margin at, uh, three, at uh, half time. Now Jason Rowe. He's got better as this game's got on. John Riley, who's lacking a little bit of match fitness, tries to push the ball out. Joe Trimboli tried to funnel out a handball. But yet again, the umpire says he'll have a bounce. Yes, Jason Rowe, certainly a promising player. As we mentioned earlier, he won the uh, Tompkins medal whilst playing for Port Adelaide in 1985. Ball to ground, Rowe in there again. Now manages to get boot to ball very quickly. Did it well for a big man. Scott Lee leads in the chase for the ball, tries to paddle the ball in front of him in hot pursuit, is white. The long handle comes over looking for Shields. He has time to steady, want to get rid of it quick, does that. Not a good kick, looked like he was looking for Rick Kinnear then, obviously he wasn't. Now it's Bennett having a fine game. He floats a ball up looking for Carlo. He managed to get front position. Couldn't control the ball. And we'll have a throw in right in front of the Central District grandstand. We should explain to some of our viewers your humour, Kim. Rick Kinnear, in fact, is the uh, field umpire today, officiating with Daryl Schramm. Rene Van Dommel, clever play off the shield. He was tackled strongly by Bennett. He evaded that. Good work, Shields. Forward he goes looking for Mandemaker. He got fingertips to the ball, now evades a tackle, onto the left foot he goes, lines up the goals. However, it's another way we kick out of bounds on the pull. And that uh, gives Rudy Mandemaker a progressive tally of two goals, one, and three out of bounds on the full. Well, in fact, I make a little different, David. I think he kicked two, three, and one out on the full. Nonetheless, he looks a million dollars until he actually kicks the ball. In fact, that is right. We've just had that check. He kicked two goals, three. And as we're saying, he absolute million dollars until he actually disposes of it. Carlo, fine mark. Over towards Hart. 
Roosters running again, looking for Arnold. Been a quiet player. Graham back there on him, not giving him much room at all. Buckley couldn't control that. In there is Pryor working hard. Now the Shepherds applied by Schwert. This allows Pryor to get a clear kick away. Out looking for Bubner. Bubner, who's been moved down towards the forward lines, has chance. He's a good kick normally. It's a long kick. It's not going to carry the distance. Rudy, oh, nearly a one-hander. The ball stays in play, and it's taken by man to make his opponent in Stephen Hay. In turn, he goes over the top to Jason Rowe. Rowe with a terrible kick, had plenty of time to steady. And that clean bowls Carlor. Carlor soccers the ball off the ground, back towards Trick. Did that extremely well. Over to Carlor, back to Riley. Better play, Roosters. Great play, Trigg. Parsons front position, too tall, but couldn't hold it. White roving the pack superbly. It's a high kick. Back there is Braddy. Cowboy Neil not afraid to throw his players around the ground. That one went off the ground, straight to Jarman. Jarman long looking. Oh, Graham up high, manages to keep his balance, grab the ball. Brilliantly done, Phil Graham. Oh, it's a superb effort and deserves the round of applause he receives. Bad play, Anderson. Dixon in with a chance, so too is Schwert. Quick handball, let's see if they get it on their boot. Trimboli one way, then the other. Now pushes out a pass to Lally, and the Bulldogs have a chance to set something up. Man to make her on the lead. The short pass goes out that way, and it's found the big man. Finally, better play the Bulldogs. Man to make her already has kicked two goals, three, and possibly two out on the full. About 25 metres out. Eight minutes gone in this third quarter. And once again, Mandemaker offline. And another point, so that means he's kicked two goal four. And the Bulldogs now move on to nine goals five, leading the Roosters 7-12. It was North Adelaide's inaccurate kicking in the first half that uh, meant they had a deficit at half time. Had they kicked straighter, they would have been a lot better off. And now it's Central District's turn. The ball goes out wide. Dixon, the Port Augusta recruit, is marked. Right half back, he plays on quickly. I think that's been the instruction for McNoon, and they seem to have moved the ball much faster this third quarter. Mould shot out the handball. It went back to Shields. In fact, it was Scott Lee off to Little. We turn, got it off to Anderson. His kick goes forward, looking for Bythene, and the big fella's lumbered out and marked. And Bythene's been shifted from centre half forward. He's now playing in a forward pocket. Bubner's playing at centre half forward, but finally Rowe with the ball chips it forward. Chipping in there to take a very courageous mark was Russell Shields. Shields has three goals to date. He rode that one well. I'm sure that wouldn't have hurt him. In fact, David, I think it's hurt Stephen Trigg more than it hurt Russell Shields. That's 12 marks to Russell Shields. He's been a dominant player today. He's been one of their better players. Three goals in five minutes during the second term. And this is kick number 15. So he's having a field day. Goal number four for him. No problems with that kick. Ten goals, five. 65 for the Bulldogs. North Adelaide trail on seven goals, 12. 54. Well, what can you say about Russell Shields? He's absolutely running amok. He's been everywhere. He's, he's giving out goals. He's kicking goals himself. He's just drifting into the forward line absolutely superbly today. And we, we saw this of him in the past. He's a, he's a fine player. He's tended to be a little bit inconsistent. Well put it this way last year he, he he wasn't a consistent performer but by gee when he turns it on he certainly does it appears to me to be a lot fitter back at center field parsons and moles neither could get the tap now john riley he's back in center or perhaps ruck roving ian white went through strongly he's been a courageous player all day mold shot out the handball row left foot forward looking for mcgrath ball missed him now trick tackled strongly by bythin play on to the umpire I think got the ball out. It was Lally who kicked the ball over his shoulder. Mandemaker will lead the race for that ball. Now he gathers it in. Ducks around, chips forward, and has Bythein. Good play, big Mandemaker. Good skills by the big fellow. And now Peter Bythein, an opportunity of scoring his first goal for the day. We mentioned earlier he started at centre-half forward. Cowboy Neal has moved him during the third term into a forward pocket. And now from 25 metres out, directly in front, with kick number four, an opportunity of scoring the Bulldogs' 11th goal. That's just what he's done. 11 goals, 5, 71 the Bulldogs. North Adelaide, 7, 12, 54. Well, what can you say about Mandemaker? We've said it all, really. He's a million dollars. That time he didn't have a shot for goal. He decided to drop it in short. 
and his disposal didn't let him down and found big Peter Bythen who has had a quiet day but Bythen is an accurate kick and he made no mistake and it's a good healthy start to the Bulldogs in this third quarter. Kim, one of the things I like about the Bulldogs side is they appear to have tremendous flexibility they can move players around Braddy who opened the game in the uh, forward pocket is now playing at full back Bubner who was at full back has now gone to centre half forward and Bythen from centre half forward to a forward pocket and I think that's given just a little bit of better balance and to top it off uh, David all these moves appear to be working back to the centre umpire Rick Kinnear and it'll be Parsons opposed to Moulds Moulds just managed to get a hand of the ball taken there by Trimboli the ball was held to him so this time it'll be umpire Darrell Schramm come in and bounce once again. Kim, we mentioned earlier that John Riley looked to be lacking a bit of match fitness, but he's certainly come into the game during this third term and he seems to be getting better as the game's gone on. Now Van Dommel, hand to the ball, creeps it in front of him. His tackle were not in possession. The umpire scored play on and that was well called by the umpire. Shields could have been a goal number five. It is. What a sensational player he's been today. And Russell Shields now chips in for Central District's 12th goal. Well, Shields, you'd think it's his birthday. He is just absolutely running amok out there today. And you see him just jog past his opponent in Roger Carlaw. And, uh, gee, Carlaw's going to have to tighten up his game or moves are going to have to be made. They already put Carlaw on the Shields because Shields was beating Dixon. One wonders what they can do next. Five goals, Russell Shields. A magnificent effort. Back at centre. Parsons and Bythen now having a run on the ball. Bythen it was with the tap. Anderson tapped it forward to Van Dommel who shot it back to Bythen. Now to Shields, he's having a field day. Out wide, Anderson with a paddock to run in. You know, problems, he could have a bounce if the Shepherd's on. He could run into an open goal and that's just what he's done. He can line them up, kicks on its way. Goal number 13, no. Well, you can nearly call it beforehand but it's still a mark anyway. And in the pocket, Joe Trimboli. He now plays on. Peter Button on the lead, and the Bulldogs are hot. Peter Bubner started the game at fullback. Now it's in a half forward. And at the 13 and a half minute mark of this third quarter, he has an opportunity of scoring the Bulldogs' 13th goal. Kick number five for Bubner. They currently lead by 23 points. Goal here would take them to 29, and that's just what he's done, Bubner. Right through the middle, goal number one for him. Well, the Bulldogs led by five, uh, four points at half time, and they've very quickly increased that lead to 29 points, and uh, it's, they're just showing so much run. Loose checking North Adelaide. Bubner gone from full back down to full forward. Man to make her out to centre half forward now, so they're making plenty of moves. There's players being moved around everywhere. And everything they touch turns to gold. Back in ruck, Bennett versus Bythene. Bythene it was with a tap. He's got two taps since going into the ruck. Bennett took the ball out. No runners for him. Now he handballs backwards to Carlaw, who kicks forward, but dropping back courageously onto that ball was Brendan Little. Bulldog defence has been solid today. Anderson, the former Warrnambool player, the handball was too quick out to Buckley. The ball is out of play. Buckley just uh, apologising. Anderson and Buckley apologising to each other. Bythene, front position, cleverly down to Anderson. Over the top it went. Carlaw gets the sit, evades the tackle. Quickly onto his boot, nowhere to go. Ran a little under this one. In fact, Buckley. So it's a good mark to the shaven head uh, back pocket player. We saw him with long locks last year. This year a new haircut. Bythene coming into the game. They'll handle over the top to Pryor, who's created plenty of run from the half back flank. Through centre half forward, he goes over the head of Bubner. Dropping back on its valley on the left foot. He can go, he can line up the goals. It's not far enough. And punched away from big moulds by Arnold. So Arnold, who started the game at centre-half forward, has now gone into defence. North Adelaide are trying to regain their composure, and it's been all Bulldogs in this third term. Moulds will do the ruck work. Up forward for Centrals. Bennett for North Adelaide. Down it goes to Arnold. He has enough time, even in the middle of a pack, to get his kick away out to Carlaw. He got his hand to it and has taken a good mark. <laughs> Left half-back flank Carlaw. Kick number nine. He hasn't dominated, but he hasn't been a bad player either. 
Coming out was Wildey, who started in the back line. So Mick Noonan's now making changes. He's had to. Wildey forward, centre-half forward is passes. He didn't even try and mark that. He tapped it down to White cleverly. The little rover is off, but his kick is astray. Brady from full-back. Burns out. On the left foot he goes. Renee Van Donald dropped what he should have taken. And now a free kick's been picked out, and it's going the way of David Wildey. Well, the moves in this game have certainly livened up the tempo, David. A little bit more enthusiasm from a few players. It's brought a little bit of spark back into this game. Wildey not sure which way to go. Now spears out a low pass looking for Hart. He's been a quiet player in his first day as captain. And that handball was good, but he was let down by Stephen Riley. Hart has the back up again. Now over to White. Riley nearly has a fumble again. Now he's ran himself into trouble. Well tackled. Riley tapped the ball back to Hart. He's tackled again. The crowd won holding the ball, but umpire Daryl Schramm said, sorry, fellas, I'll take that one. Well, Kim, we mentioned it before that the umpires have let the play go today and they've been consistent all day, so we can't be uh, criticising them. They've played that rule all day and I think it's made for a good game. It certainly has. Schramm bounces the ball. Parsons got the tap, but uh, coming in to get a hand to it was also Scott Lee, and the ball's out of play. And there's the big fella. He's been all over the field today. Started in ruck. He's played up forward and now playing centre-half forward. By the front position, got the tap down. And yet again, he tapped it. Looking for Pryor. Pryor kept the ball in play. Wildy gathers it in one-handed. Tries to get a kick away. Brendan Little's there. He tries to burst his way through, and he's received a free kick for two high. So his courage was rewarded. Now he plays on. Jarman came over the mark as the umpire called play on. Bit of wrestling for position. As Mandamaker got a hand to the ball. Riley, who's come into the game. Carlaw, Hart, clever handball to John Stephen Riley. Stephen Riley pushes the ball out wide on the leads. John Roberts in front of Braddy. Now Roberts lacks a little bit of pace. He's good in the air, and he's received a push in the back. He worked hard for that one. The tempo of this game increasing. 29 points the margin. Tiller down from his back pocket, lines up the goals. It's going to land in the goal square, and who's up but Big Parsons? Oh, the big fella is marked, and this could be a very handy goal for the Roosters. It's one that they'll need. They trail by 29 points. In fact, they trail by 31 points during the second term. They erase that deficit back to four, and that kicks a shocker. He's not a natural left foot kick, Parsons. Goal there would have been handy, but just a little clumsy on that occasion and threw for one behind. Yes, it didn't look good at all. I think he must have uh, taken note of what Braddy did in the first quarter when he ran around onto his left boot and kicked a magnificent goal. Unfortunately for North Adelaide and for Parsons, he wasn't equal to the task. Ball and out. kicks out towards Pryor. Pryor's kick is misdirected, just lands inside the boundary line. We'll have a throw in in front of the grandstand position. Kim, you couldn't help but be impressed with Pryor's game on a halfback flank today. He's been very strong and rebounding from halfback. I've always liked Pryor as a player, David. He's had nine kicks today, but uh, he just epitomises the word club man and team man. He's always putting in. He does a lot of the hard work in defence, sh shepherding, blocking, blocking, similar player to Scott Lee. And uh, he's been a great player and an extremely good vice captain for the Central District Football Club. Certainly has. Phil Graham's played at centre half back. I thought he might have been a bit too small for that position, but he's made a fist of it. Bythine clumsily in ruck. Disposed of Wildy. Wildy just feeling a, an ear and a jaw, perhaps. Bit of Bythine's no small man. When he hits you, you know it. Bennett. Trimboli cleverly guarding the mark. Kick number 14 for Bennett. In fact, he won't kick it. He'll handball. That was not well placed. He was looking for John Riley. Philip Graham came in. His kick is a high one. Anderson's back there. So too Tiller. Anderson cleverly gets the sit. He's got a little bit of pace, this boy from Warrnambool. Onto the left foot he goes, looking for McGrath. And McGrath is marked at centre half forward. And they move the ball forward. They look very, very good. Now Trimboli. Over the top, he'll go to Shields. Could he kick goal number six? Hayes taking him out strongly. Coming through was McGrath. And he's given away a free kick, and it's going the way of Stephen Trigg. No, the umpire says it's gone the other way. Philip Graham play on goal. Well, I couldn't quite see what that was for. I thought it was going the other way. Trimboli played on quickly. Philip Graham goal, and that was the end of the penny section. And Phil Graham certainly looks a happy man. He backed up from his centre-half back position down the ground. The free kick was awarded to Trimboli. He wasted no time whatsoever. 
quick handball to Graham and he made no mistake from 35 to 40 metres out. And such is the way the Bulldogs have played today. Play on at all costs and they've certainly reaped the rewards from that. Back at centre field. Tram will bounce the ball. Bennett in ruck for North Adelaide. Bythine for the Bulldogs. They shared that tap. Down it went. Schwert got hand to ball but couldn't get it away. Now it comes out finally. Lally with the left foot kick forward. And dropping back as Rowan. He'll take a good mark at half back. I've been impressed with Rowe today. Kick number 11 for him. Former Port Adelaide uh, Tompkins medalist in the under 19s. Wildy. Handball's out. John Riley. Shields tackle when not in possession. That's the way umpire Rick Kinnear has seen it. He won't play the advantage, however, and Shields will take the free kick. Plenty of movement up forward for Shields. He decides to go across to Bythine. Bythine even wider on the leader's man to make it. The crowd love this boy. Clisby handballs back to Tiller, the runner. On the left foot he goes. Well placed to Darren Jarman. Jarman this way, that way. Tiller's backed up yet again. Over the top he'll go with the handball. On to Dixon. Dixon's left foot kick is forward, but who's there but Scott Lee? As he took that mark, he took a heavy knock from David Wildey. Yes, I don't think that'll bother Scott Lee. Certainly he's a tough customer. Enjoys playing in, in defence. Kick number 10 out to Bythen. He couldn't control that. Now he has a chance to butter up. Too slow. Gets a quick handball away, though. Still in there, trying to socket the ball along the ground. Now it's been taken by Daryl Hart. Hart out looking for Dixon again. Dixon has the run of the ball. Well smothered by Scott Lee, taken well by Parsons, sold the dummy over the top to Dixon. Dixon now drives in long again, underneath that Roberts couldn't control it. Well done Brendan Little. Parsons again with a chance. Lee opting for the safety of the boundary line and receiving a free kick for in the back. 24 minute mark of this third quarter. It's the Dogs 14-5 leading the Roosters 7-13. It's been a great quarter for the Bulldogs. Short kick into Lally. Lally now across towards Van Dommel. Van Dommel long and high underneath it Rowe. Fine mark Trevor Rowe. And fairly quiet. More commonly known as the perennial tagger. His disposal is absolutely brilliant to McGrath, and McGrath in turn to Trimboli. In fact, Anderson, sorry. And another player that's shown plenty of promise is young Ian Anderson. His kick is quick, and he finds Trimboli. So they've opened up the face of goal. McGrath not happy with the attention Trimboli received after marking that ball, and I must agree it was a little late. I'm sure the youngster... Won't mind at all once he turns around and has a look at those two white goalposts. I think when he realises how close he is to goal, Kim, nothing could hurt him. I haven't known of a forward who's 20 metres out directly in front has ever been hurt. Will be a handy goal with just stepping into time on. 25 metres out, and he's popped that right through the middle. Great goal. That's his first goal to Trimboli. They may now move on to 15 goals, five. Pulling right away from North Adelaide, seven goals, 13. Joe Trimboli, of course, came into the game when uh, Krieg couldn't take his position in the field. Had a hamstring injury, which was bad luck for Peter Krieg. He uh, couldn't take his place. Stephen uh, Lally came in to the forward pocket. And Flintoff was roving. So they've been well served by the little men today, and even Trimboli coming onto the field has done a fine job. Well, the Bulldogs have kicked six goals this quarter. They now lead by 40 points. Let's see if the Roosters can get back into this in this time on period of the third quarter. Ball to the back of the pack taken by Hart. Quick handball over to Riley. He's on his right boot. Shot on its way. Looks pretty good. Now that's a handy goal. So they've still got time for a few more. A very quick reply by the Roosters. It's their first goal for the quarter. The first goal to Riley. And they now move on to eight goals, 13, trailing the Dogs 15-5. One of the things I noticed, Kim, is that the Central District scoreboard is very quick to put the Bulldogs' goals up, but not so quick to put the poor old Roosters' goals up. They haven't had much work to do today. They've only kicked eight. Stephen Riley's first, and uh, he's certainly been a little quiet. Rick Kinnear centre field. Bennett once again back in the ruck, opposed to Moulds. Bennett with the tap. He's had a fine game. Normally... Used to seeing Bennett play at centre half forward. Man to make his kick, smothered off the boot. Rowe leads in the chase. 
That is Jason Rowe. His left foot pass out looking for Bennett again, and that's a fine mark. Looking to play on quickly, now does so in turn to Wildey. He's managed to pick up a few possessions around the forward lines. His quick kick and turn over to Burton. Burton had trouble getting into the game today, but what he's done looks very flash and pretty. But that pass was misdirected. Van Dommel from back, the centre half back. Over to Buckley, on to Braddy. It's a training run for the Bulldogs. Now the little fella in Stephen Anderson. Takes the dummy, chips forward on the lead, Bubner. Easy as you like. Really is a training run now. McNoonan's got his work cut out in front of him. He's made a number of moves. But I think the ones made by Cowboy Neal have worked more effectively. Bubner 50 metres out. Kick number six after starting the game at full back. He's a magnificent kick, Bubner. Distance will be no problem for him. The accuracy is, however, it's just drifted across to the right and through for one behind. 15 goals, six, the Bulldogs. 97. North Adelaide, 8 goals, 13, 61. Well, little Anderson just keeps getting better and better, Stephen Anderson. Certainly got some pace and very good skills. Darren Jarman over the top to Rowe. Roosters have a chance to score again. We've had three and a half minutes of time on. Rowe drives long looking for Stephen Riley. He couldn't control that. Brendan Little back there, tried to get a handball away. Good pressure by Riley. We'll have a bounce just by the Pi Audio sign, which of course, or who of course, are the official sponsors of the Bulldogs. Tap down, shields a chance to use his pace. Taps the ball over the top. Still has a run of it. Darren Jarman intercepts. Quite happy to take that ball over the boundary line. And Russell Shields has been one of the main reasons the Bulldogs currently enjoy a 35-point lead. He's kicked, uh, I think, five goals himself in a fine display from centre wing. He's had 19 kicks. So he's been a very dominant player. Going through with Trimboli, he was grabbed. But before that, there was a pre-kick to Clisby. Clisby did waste no time. He decides to play on. That's what the Roosters have to do to get back into this game. Out wide to Dixon. Schwert is uh, equal to the task. He's taken an easy chest mark on the outer wing. Schwert onto the left foot he goes. A natural left footer. The lead is on from Bubner. Hey, he just lacks a little bit of pace for mine. He had trouble with Mandamaker, and now he's having trouble with Bubner. Bubner's lost a, a boot. Takes time to put it back on. 15 metre penalty being applied, but he'll still be too far out to score. Although he is a good kick. Bubner. One goal, one to his name. The kick is a beauty. In fact, it's carrying. It is going to make the distance. Could it go through? Well, it has. The skills of Peter Bubner. Goal number two. Central Districts now advanced to 17 goals, six. 102, leading North Adelaide, 8 goals, 13, 61. As the three-quarter time siren sounds here at Elizabeth Oval, it's been all the Bulldogs. quarter at Elizabeth Oval and it's the Bulldogs leading by 41 points after a sensational third quarter when they kicked seven goals to North Adelaide's one. Tap by Moles down towards Bennett. Bennett over the top to Dixon. Dixon with a long left foot kick. Underneath that is Parsons and oh Buckley drops what he should have taken. Now punches the ball forward. Well done Scott Lee but it's been intercepted by Young White. His kick on the way not a bad snapshot. Unfortunately, drifting just offline, so another minor score to the uh, Roosters, and they move on to eight goals, 14, trailing the dog 16-6. Kim, I've been very impressed today with Ian White. His attack on the ball has been more than courageous. Certainly looks a likely recruit for the Roosters. It's very similar to Brad Hardy, too, with that fiery red hair. <laughs> Brady now playing at full back, kicks the ball out to the outer. He found his mark there in uh, David Buckley. Buckley hasn't played a bad game in the back pocket either. Kick number nine for him. The new Sean Hare style. On the left foot he goes. Some interference on Bubner. Trimboldi gathered in the ball onto the left foot he went. Kick goes to the outer side. Bursting through a shield. He's got a paddock to run in. He chips the ball across the top. Now Bythe and all he's got to do is mark it and play on and find a man and that's exactly what he's done easy as like he's found the ground McGrath dropped it goodness me 
Holding the ball should be decision, or could be, but the umpire says he'll ball it up. Well, how McGrath missed that, Kim, I'll never know. And he's not happy with himself at all, nor should he be. That was brilliant play by Shields to hook that ball round to Bythine, and it's an opportunity gone begging. Wildy round his body, out towards Bennett. He couldn't hold that. Mandemaker in there uses his big body, but a free kick's been picked out. And it will go the way of Peter Bennett. Bennett today, Kim, has been one of uh, North Adelaide's better players. Certainly has. In fact, he's had 15 kicks, David. Well, that wasn't a kick. It was a handball. It went the way of David Tiller. He drives long. Underneath that was Darren Jarman. He was well bodied out of the way by Brendan Little. who has been a fine player in defence. Can we talk about the stars that have gone to the VFL? But I think there's some new players emerging today. Oh, for sure, David. There's, there's no doubt about that whatsoever. Young Anderson, young White. Plenty of good players around the place. And what about this man, Shields, former Victorian, but by gee, he's got some skill. He's been in everything today, and that's a fine mark by Clisbon. I'm sorry to say that was Moles who kicked the ball, Kim, but he's certainly been another player I've uh, been very, very impressed with since uh, taking over the rucking responsibilities out here at Central District. Since Richard Cousins has gone to Footscray, he's been an absolute dynamo. He strikes me as a player who could play in the ruck for the state if he keeps the improvement going. Trigg, he's had a shitty day today. Stephen Trigg, he wouldn't be pleased with it back on his own home ground. Now row out wide, Peter Bubner. Bubner, forward to Shields. He's been a dynamo, five goals. He can play on and kick his six if he's good enough. Well, we know that he's good enough, and that's perhaps just what he's done. Just offline, however, five goals, two to Russell Shields in a fine display from centre wing. Peter Bennett to kick out for the Roosters. You did say shirty day before, David, I think. Bennett, short pass out towards Clisby has been left unattended. He'll go over the top to Carlaw. In turn, Carlaw should go over to Burton. Oh, well policed. Well done, Trimboli. Now it finally gets to Burton. He's got plenty of pace. Weaves his way through two opponents. Now drives long, looking for Arnold. Been a quiet player. He couldn't hold that. Through hard is Brendan Little. Over the top. And here's Pryor, the Bulldogs, running the ball out of defence once again. Over the top row, nearly took a fine mark, not quite. Ooh, once again, the crowd wanted holding the ball, but yep. umpire Rick Kinnear says held to him, and uh, that's probably fair enough. Well, the umpires, have been, to beat. the umpires have been consistent today, Kim. There's no doubt about that. That's the way they've played it all day. Bennett got the tap down. Hart. Now Jason Rowe. His kick is a shocker. In fact, it may even be out of bounds on the full. It is. He's not happy with himself. He had a paddock to run in. He could have steadied. He chose, however, to get away a quick kick. Now the ball back into play. Lally, former Perth Rover. Played 12 games in Western Australia, and Central's have put big wraps on this ball, and we can see now why. Finally it came out. Bythene, the man to make it. The handball went across to Anderson. Over the top, he should go, or he can go. That's what he does, finally. And there in the goal square, popping it through for the easiest of goals, Peter Bubner, goal number three. Well, that was brilliant play by Anderson. Superb play, Stephen Anderson. Man to make it looked as though he was going to have a shot. Thought better of it. Over the top to Anderson. He had to do a bit of dodging, ducking and weaving, but he did it brilliantly. Drew the player over the top to Bubner, and he made no mistake to post his third goal. Brilliant play by the youngster in Stephen Anderson. They certainly have some good players down South Warrnambool Way. Cowboy Neal, of course, started his career down there, and now this young man Anderson making such a big impact on this game today. Van Dommel through McGrath's legs. Bursting through was the running player in row. Across to Anderson, the little man we were just talking about, and he's banged it through. No problem for him. 20 kicks to the little rover. Goal number two, and the Bulldogs are doing it easily. Well, I suppose it's only just, David, that he managed to get one for himself. He just gave one to Peter Bubner after doing all the hard work. So I think that was well-deserved and uh, quite justified that he ended up kicking that one himself. Great play, and uh, gee, things look good. They may have found someone to fill the boots of uh, little Johnny Platten. I think you might be right, Kim. Back at centre field. Rick Kinnear's had a field day bouncing the ball today. 26 goals scored already, and we're only six minutes into the final term. That's another good bounce from Rick Kinnear. Ball goes to ground. Stephen Riley was held by Van Dommel. We're not in possession. The umpire has seen that infringement. It's pretty easy to pick him from up here. Riley plays on. Bennett. Bennett at centre wing. They've kicked the ball, and they've 
progressed five metres. Now they progress another 15 metres. They haven't really progressed because North Adelaide are going to uh, lose the ball. No, they haven't. The free kick, Dixon, former Port Augusta player, playing at centre wing today. He's coming onto the field midway through the first term. He kicks up forward, looking for Parsons. Through his hands. Now Lally tackled after he'd handballed it. The umpire's called that, and that's the way it's going. Now a 15-metre penalty. Disappointed with uh, Parsons today, David. He's managed to get his hands to a number of balls and hasn't been able to bring the marks down. Oh, Kim, I'd put that down, though, to the Central District defence. They've been very, very strong back there. They've given no opportunity. And that's another clever bit of play by Anderson. He's been a star today. McGrath with an opportunity now, paddling the ball in front of him. He needs to take control. Jason Rowe came out strongly and finished it off for him. What else can you do when a bloke wants to fumble? I agree, David. Look, uh, the defence of the Bulldogs has been brilliant, but still, nonetheless, when you've got front position and you get your hands on the ball, you should be holding a lot more marks when you're six foot eight. Now, McGrath was just having a go at Rick Kinnear, but that was his own fault. He's feeling his jaw and saying that it was Kinnear's fault for not giving him a free kick. But if he'd have taken control, he'd have been in business. Van Dommel, punched away by Mandemaker. He's impressed me today. Now, Bubner is set upon by North Adelaide defenders. Finally, the handball came out. Chimboli has the ball, but the free kick's going the way. The little Ian White, I think, is at the bottom of that pack. Mandemaker's letting him, his presence felt out there. Stephen Hay is giving him uh, his money's worth. I don't think that'll worry big Rudy Mandemaker too much. Finally, the free kick goes to Ian White. He handles off to Tiller. Play on goes the Rooster Vice captain onto the left foot. That's a magnificent kick. John Riley there, edging out his opponent in prior. Now Schwert. Onto the left foot he goes. The kick is well placed, looking for Shields. Shields handles off to Lally. Onto the right foot he goes. Forward, out wide is Bubner. Stephen Hayes not even chasing Bubner. He's taken out the North Adelaide trainer. Onto the left foot. Well, how difficult does it have to be? Well, great work, Peter Bubner. And even the North Adelaide trainer couldn't keep him from scoring that goal. <laughs> well, that's what you call really rubbing salt into the wounds. <laughs> Unbelievable effort. That North Adelaide trainer was running for dear life. He lost his feet and... Uh... Oh, Jengos, that's one of the funniest things I've seen on a football field. What a brilliant passage of play by Peter Bubner. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, Kim, you go a long way to see an incident oh, like that. Crikey. Back at centre field, Peter Bennett with the ball, driving the Roosters forward. Nothing's gone right for them today. Now Pryor, another star for the Bulldogs. Gee, they're going to have a good side this year if they can only maintain their fitness and their form. McGrath, pace, hasn't had a good day, but he's firing now along with all his mates. Tiller, been solid in defence for the Roosters, been one of their few very good players. His kick is a long one, drifting back courageously underneath that ball is Lally. And there's another find for the Bulldogs. Certainly is. All their recruits have really chipped in today. Now the quick handball, and that's been the, uh, the trademark of their game today. They're just the willingness to get the ball on and give it out to running players. Big man to make her. Oh, he's starting, he's starting to lairise a bit, the big fella. One-handed grabs, one way, then the other. Now they've lost possession. Clisby over the top to Darren Jarman, and all of a sudden the tempo of the game drops back about... Well, plenty. Over the top to Burton. He endeavours to pick it up a bit. He's certainly got a turn of speed. Now drives long. Roberts hasn't, hasn't had much action down there. Once again, it's Big Parsons. Hand to the ball. Play on the call. Parsons not happy. In there fighting hard is Brendan Little. <coughs> Parsons having a few words. And, gee, I did think he uh, managed to control that. Two bites at it. Well, it was a mark for mine, Kim. And he has a reason to be disappointed. But it's very, very difficult for the umpire. He was running into the sun. Very difficult to see. And uh, you couldn't be too critical of Rick Kinnear on that occasion, as finally it was Arnold who had a shot for goal. Through for one point, that advances North Adelaide's score onto eight goals, 15. Inaccurate kicking has certainly cost them. They've had 23 scoring opportunities. Central Districts have only had 26. And that's been the story of the game. Back into play. Ball comes out wide. Swerd is there for the Central Districts. 30 for the Roosters is Dixon. Port Augusta boy, and he certainly looks very fit. He certainly does, Dave, and of course he's the son of former North Adelaide wingman Malcolm Dixon. Moulds, front position, passes from the top. Riley tries to bullock his way through, gets a quick kick away. <coughs> Been well taken by Van Dommel. He's handled out long, looking for Graham. Graham was time to steady now and have a look out towards Russell Shields. And 
he has had an absolute blinder today. Kick number 24 for Shields. Is not well directed. In fact, it falls short to Peter Bennett. Bennett over the top to Darren Jarman. In turn back to Burton. Certainly has got some pace. Beautiful deception by Burton. Back to Darren Jarman again. Drives long and back of the pack. Roberts couldn't control that. Well taken off hands by Braddy. Braddy normally seen as a forward player in South Australia. Looking equally at home in defence. Over to Button. He's got one player to beat. Couldn't do so. Gets the handle out in the direction of Trimboli. Trimboli has the same deal. One player to beat. Did it well. Now the handle over the top. McGrath decides to punch the ball on, but there's nobody home. And Tiller mops up for the Roosters. Weaves his way through the pack and clears through the agency of Burton. Burton has pace to burn. He decides, however, to handball. Back it comes from Stephen Riley in the one-two. For mine, Burton just plays a little bit indirect. He'd be a much better player if he just grabbed the ball and went. Finally, Moulds at centre-half back. Paul Arnold trying to dish out a little bit of treatment. Moulds having none of that. Plays on quickly. Was Lally the player with the ball. Kicked it wide. Now Anderson, they've combined well. They've both been stars today. The Central District crowd have warmed to this little fellow too. They love him. I think he is going to replace John Platt and Kim. You called it earlier. Now Shields drifting down the forward line again. He's tipped it across his shoulder and he's hit the post. Well, wouldn't that have been a fitting end to a fine passage of play? It would have given Shields six goals. Now instead he has five goals, three. Well, he certainly backed himself in then because he, uh, he decreased the face of goal by, by playing on. And for one moment there, he looked like he was going to pop it through. Great effort, Russell Shields. Been a superb game. He looks tired, but he's got every reason to be. Ball on the outer side. Been taken by Jason Rowe. Rowe, quite a long kicker of the ball. Fortunately not accurate on that occasion as it finds Scott Lee. He spears a low pass towards Trevor Rowe. Rowe in turn on to Brendan Little. Little in turn to Shields. Let's see if he can... No, he decides to pass out. Looking for Anderson. Couldn't get a hand of that one. Tiller can. Trying to paddle the ball along in front of him. Now Hamble's back towards Clisby. Clisby with a sweeping left-handed handball which didn't find its mark in Trigg. Trigg grabbed without possession. And has won himself a free kick. Hasn't been a, a very comfortable day for Stephen Trigg, but he's battled on manfully. Yes, he has, Kim. And even the bounce of that ball typifies Stephen Trigg's day. He got a B-grade bounce and finally won a free kick, fortunately for him. Carlo, long kick forward. Parsons out. Chipping through as prior as he's done all day. He's been a good player prior. Back to Graham, who hasn't done a bad job at centre-half back either. In fact, the Bulldog defence has been superb. Row at centre field has the mark also one of the uh, central district good players now a 15 meter penalty blood streaming from roger carlaw's nose row pick number 11. As young stephen anderson comes off the field no they're putting him back on they're taking off david buckley instead they're not sure who's coming off peter bubner center half forward for any other player, I'd say they'd be possibly too far out to score, but Bubner is a magnificent athlete. A beautiful kick, and distance shouldn't be a problem for him. That one's a funny old kick, however. In the goal square, Rudy Manamaker hands to the ball, and it's been paid. They played on it was a goal anyway, but I think Big Rudy will have the benefit of taking the mark in the goal square. Rudy Manamaker, two goals, three to date. From point-blank range in the goal square. 15 minutes into the final term. Coming up now for kick number 13. And he certainly had a good day in the air also. Taken nine telling marks. Two goals for Rudy Mandemaker. Couldn't possibly miss this one. I'd bet my life savings on it. Big Rudy Mandemaker, the Hawthorne recruit. They've done well with their Hawthorne recruits too. Flint, Toff, Shields, Mandemaker. Goal number three. That's the big fellas. Delight. Three goals for him. The Bulldogs now advance to 20 goals, 8. 128, thrashing the pants off North Adelaide. 8 goals, 15, 63. 15 minutes gone in this final quarter. And I think we could safely say now the Bulldogs are home. Mandamaker has kicked three, but by gee, he really should have had six or seven goals at least today. A number of opportunities, apart from the four points. Kicked a few out on the full. But uh, on the same token, I suppose he has handed out a few goals as well, David. Yes, Kim. Back at centre field, umpire Rick Kinnear. They've done a fine job today, Kinnear and Shram. 
very good umpiring display. Darren Jarman gathers the ball from the ruck tap out. Drives it out to the spaces. Good play from him. He had nowhere else to go. Arnold in the lead for the race for the ball. Philip Graham tackles him. Now recovers the better. Handles over the top to the running player in Brendan Little. Little's kick is a long one to the outer. He was looking for Plintoff, but chipping in was David Wildey for the Roosters. And the big back pocket player will mark and drive the Roosters forward. Familiar kicking style. Bennett was up before acceptances. No free kicks at the umpire. Now Lally, another find for the Bulldogs. Out to Plintoff, the long handball forward. It's that man again, Shields, easily best on ground. Bubner. Now he could get that right in the goal square if he wanted to. Across to Shields. He's had an absolute ball today. This could possibly be goal number six. That's what he's done. The Shields for mine, by far and away the best player on the field, puts goal number six. Brilliant display of running football by Russell Shields. Absolutely superb. Managed to get the ball over the top. I'm not sure who the player was, but he managed to get it back towards Shields purely from the fact that he kept running. Carlaw didn't chase. He was 60 yards down the ground and uh, an absolutely incredible effort by Russell Shields today. Six goals, best on ground by a mile. 28 kicks, 18 marks and six goals to Russell Shields in a match-winning display from centre wing. Fine player today for the Bulldogs. Now Burton. Out to Karlov. Back to Riley. They're mucking around the Roosters. They're under real pressure. Burton tried to gather that one in. Riley came through. Karlov. Back to Burton. The left foot kick has found Braddy. Now, Braddy started the game in a forward pocket for the Bulldogs. They moved him to fullback. He's done a fine job. Now, Pryor. Bulldog vice captain, Schwert. Came onto the field at the start of the third term. Renee Van Dommel. Now, Dommel hasn't been a dominating player today. But this man really has come into the, the game. And if they can get Mandemaker and Bubner firing up forward, the Bulldogs will be very, very dangerous. And there he is again. Russell Shields. He's elected to pass off. On the lead was Flintoff. And this is now turning into a bit of a procession for the Bulldogs. They're under no pressure on their forward line. Their back line is holding together very, very well. And Cowboy Neal would certainly be looking forward with great confidence on what he's seen today. Flintoff hasn't... In fact, he's scored one goal already today. Hasn't spent much time on the field, however. That one's drifted offline and threw for one behind. Well, we get sick of mentioning this man's name, Russell Shields. He's absolutely knocked up getting kicks today. He's been absolutely everywhere. That time, Carlo would have been 200 yards away from him. Ball comes out the direction of Wildy. Oh, oh, unkind, Kim. A football field's only 180 metres. Well, I tell you what, David, he was back on the halfback flank, so all right, then we'll drop it back to 100 yards. Nonetheless, the ball towards centre-half forward. Bennett couldn't control it. Riley off hands. In there is Brendan Little. White still burrowing in like a terrier. In fact, he's played that style of game all day. That's been a fine performance by the youngster. I think Ian White is going to be one of the stars of South Australian football. We've lost a few good ones to Victoria. But I think with Anderson and Lally for the Bulldogs, I think White is going to be one of the fines. Perhaps even Jason Rowe from North Adelaide. He's been a good player on his halfback flank under enormous pressure today. Travoli got that kick out wide to Trevor Rowe. Row short, Brendan Little. Jason Rowe, the player we're talking about, on the mark, 26 for the Roosters. Now play on to Lally. Got a couple of good rovers. If they can stay sound, it'll be a magnificent year for the Bulldogs. And to make it centre forward. Russell Shields bursts through centre forward. Over to Anderson, unselfishly over to Bubner. Goal number four for Bubner. And they're combining very, very well, the Bulldogs. Well, Stephen Anderson, he's got a great sense of team play. Absolutely brilliant. Shields again over the top to Anderson. Shields ran on. Anderson could have gone either way. Over the top to Bubner or sideways to Shields. He opted for the, the over-the-top handball to Bubner, and he made no mistake. And uh, Stephen Hay, it hasn't been a big day. Man to make a kick two or three on him, and now Bubner's kicked. What's that, David? Five, Kim. Five goals to Peter Bubner after Man to make a, has scored two. So it's a game that Stephen Hay would like to forget. Rowe infringed on Van Dommel. The umpire 
saw the free kick and he'll pull it back. The Bulldogs were hitting goal, which Trevor Rowe is a little dissatisfied. I don't think Cowboy Neil would mind. It's a percentage win, this one. In fact, uh, depending on what happens at the other games, it may even put them at the top of the Premiership table. Rowe, handball, out to Lally. Out to Schwert. They're even taking one-handed marks now. Schwert onto the left foot. He has Bubner on the lead, and that's where the ball's put. Bubner is in front. He's up. Hay punches the ball clear. Now Darren Jarman with the handball out to Burton. Burton again uses his pace. Seems to go somewhat indirect for mine, though. Onto the left foot now. John Riley at the back prior. Stephen Riley to Bennett with the handball. Bennett on the left foot. Out wide looking for Arnold. They're still playing a little indirect, North Adelaide. Arnold. Looking for John Roberts. Roberts uses his body well. He's been infringed upon. A push in the back. Craig Braddy knew it was on and stands on the mark. Hands up. What else could I do? John Roberts used his experience well. He propped for that split second. Craig Braddy ran into his rear. And forced the free kick. John Roberts playing in the an unfamiliar 25 Guernsey kick number nine for him played all of the escort cup wearing number two now he lines up the goals that's right through the middle goal number four for John Roberts today in a reasonable exhibition at full forward in a side that's been obliterated yes one can certainly sympathize uh, with John Roberts today he certainly looked at goods when the ball has gone long and got into the forward lines quickly but it just hasn't happened on enough occasions but uh, he certainly has done his job with four goals. It's a fine effort from limited opportunities, and he can hold his head up high tonight. The Bulldogs have launched their new song today, The Pride of the Plains. John, song, John Swan is the singer. It certainly has motivated the Bulldogs today. A good crowd of 6,100 people here at Elizabeth Oval to witness this massacre. Cowboy Neal, understandably looking very confidently at the 1987 season. Ian White with a left foot kick forward. Bythleen punched that one forward. McGrath tapped it on. Fryer came through and tapped it on yet again. And there's that man White. He's been a star today. McGrath tackled him. Play on to the umpire. That's consistent umpiring. Dixon nowhere to go. Through came Lally. Courageously on to Pryor. And he's carried across the line with the ball. And a throw will take place at the centre field. And the Bulldog fans clap their appreciation. David, it's interesting to note that in this second half, the Bulldogs have kicked 13 goals and uh, the Roosters have managed only two. So that tells the story in itself. Bennett down towards White. Couldn't get a decent kick away. In fact, it goes back where it came from and we'll have another throw in. Yeah. Bythine been quiet. Bennett been a good player. Bennett from behind, straight down to Jarman. His long kick looking for Arnold. He couldn't control that. That leaves the six foot eight player in Parsons to do the roving. Now it's Arnold again comes out with the ball. Tried to chip out a pass looking for Burton prior first there. Goes through the back door. Now Spears out a pass looking for Russell Shields. Once again it's Shields showing a clean pair of heels to Carlaw. Chips back to the centre of the ground where he finds Van Dommel. Van Dommel has Lally, puts the ball in that direction and it ends up with that player. Stephen Lally, about 45 metres out. Coming up to kick number 22. It's a short pass and it's found Flintoff. See, they're really doing as they please now, the Bulldogs. Well, Kim, it's the little men of Central District that have uh, cut to shreds the defence of North Adelaide. Their runners have uh, made space. Shields on a wing has been good. Flintoff hasn't spent much time on the ground, but Lally and Anderson have been dynamic. For sure. Well, we mentioned earlier in the game that uh, that could be a problem for the North Adelaide side, the height of their back line, and that certainly proved to be the case as that's another fine goal at the 25-minute mark of this final quarter to David Flintoff. The Bulldogs now move on to 23 goals, 9. A mammoth 147 points, absolutely giving North Adelaide a, a hiding on 9 goals, 15, 69. Two goals to David Plintoff. He hasn't spent a great deal of uh, time on the oval. He's been a fine rover. The ball comes back. And there's one of the things that you've mentioned. David Plintoff, number 11, a rover. David Wildey, 23 for North Adelaide, a back pocket ruckman. 
And that's one of the things Kim Dillon was talking about, the, the height of the North Adelaide defence on the pace of the Central District's forwards. And uh, just to go that one step further, at one stage there we saw Jason Rowe on young Stephen Anderson and there was a, a big height advantage to Rowe there, but certainly a pace disadvantage as there's the little fella once again tearing out of the pack out there looking for Lally. Lally putting plenty of pressure on Stephen Hay and the ball's bundled across the boundary line. We're a minute and a half into time on and it's been a great day for Bulldog supporters. There on your screen is Stephen Hay. He appears to have trimmed down a little bit from last year, Stephen Hay. I certainly wouldn't like to get in his way. Still, he's a big boy. He's a big boy, Kim, you're right. Young White, White. with the left foot forward. Leading in the race for that one was Arnold, but Graham got the better bounce. Now Little, he was met solidly, got out the handball to Shields. Now Shields can goal from here. He lines him up, he's already kicked six. Could that drift through for goal number seven? Not quite. Six goals, four to Russell Shields. He's had ten shots at goal, and he's absolutely kicked his foot off today. 31 kicks. 19 marks and six goals, four. It says it all. David Wildey played on. Look for Carl or drop what he should have taken. This allows Shields to come through once again. He is absolutely, he must think it's his birthday out there. Well, he's hit the post this time. It's the second time he's hit the post. So quite easily today, Russell Shields could have kicked 10 goals from his wing, and I don't think that's been done since Ron Hately did it in 1978 for South Adelaide at Adelaide Oval. It's a good memory, Kim. Ball comes out. Van Dommel got the handball. Looking for Bubner. Bubner paddles it on in front of him. He has space. Jarman tackled him. Now Van Dommel has an opportunity of coming in. He tried to kick the ball off the field, but cleverly out to Bubner. Now Bubner has a shot at goals, or is he centering it? He has and to make a run. Oh! The big fella nearly took a stream, and Lally picks it up and goals. Sensational work, and I think Big Rudy might have hurt himself as he came down. He went up nearly as high as the goalpost. Well, he looks a little bit winded, but I'd say he's a happy boy as well. What a tremendous effort by this Central District side. It's been a class display today. Lally was there, reading the pack superbly. Man to make her up high. And Lally got the easiest of goals, and uh, he's been a live wire up forward all around the ground today, and it's just been a superb exhibition by the Bulldog side. Back at centre field, 155 plays 69. It's Central Districts by plenty. Bythen in ruck. Bennett got the tap down to White. White has been a good player. Burton caught again. Lally. Wide handball to the running player in prior. He's done that well all day. Schwert. Handball back to Graham, who played centre half back and has done it very, very well. Out to prior. Training run for the Bulldogs. Short. Trevor Rowe. Handball. Philip Graham. Handball off to Do Van Dommel. Van Dommel could have gone to Schwert. Instead, he looked for. Shields. Shields on that occasion didn't win the ball. It's one of the few occasions he has and is coming through from full back with Stephen Hay. Nobody got in his way. Scott Lee. Handball out to Pryor. Take two. Concedes ground. That such is the confidence of the Central District's defence. Now Moles. Wide to Bubner. I'd like to know who's on Bubner. Stephen Hay, I think, is jogging at centre half back. Trimboli. And that's what North Adelaide needed. They needed somebody to guard the mark. Oh, David and Shields has got an absolute paddock. Or, or is it man to make him? Maybe there's no one within oh, 20 metres of him. Now the short pass goes out to Anderson. Now, how loose a checking is that? That is unbelievably undisciplined football from a North Adelaide side. Incredible. I think you've called it well, Kim. It's just plain undisciplined. In fact, it was Russell Shields. He was on the other side of the ground and... Uh, by Jingo's, you'd think he'd be one player they were looking to pick up. Kick number 23 for Stephen Anderson. Unfortunately, it's offline. It's another behind. So the Bulldogs move on to 24 goals, 12, 156. Absolutely giving North Adelaide a caning on nine goals, 15, 69. This will be a demoralising loss for Coach McNernan, last year's grand finalist. Most people expected them to bounce back on their form today. They looked very ordinary. Tiller. Cleverly evades the tackle. He's been one of their few good players. Decides to go long. Looking for Arnold. Graham's done a fine job on him at centre-half back. Arnold with the handball. Off to Hart. Hart's been quiet since the first quarter. Now John Roberts. One hand to it. Can he gather in the ball? Braddy leads in the race for it. Roberts has pushed him in the back and the umpire has seen it. Rick Kinnear right on the spot. A little bit of frustration there by John Roberts. 
Well, you can understand that, Kim. The Bulls rarely gone forward. They've only scored nine goals for the day, and John Roberts has four of those, so he's certainly done his job. No arguments there. Braddy, been a good player. Both ends of the ground. Drives long looking for Trevor Rowe. He takes a fine mark. Could only be seconds remaining. We play 31 minutes in this final quarter. And Trevor Rowe's certainly in no hurry to get the ball moving. It's his 13th kick. Drives to the centre of the ground. Looking for man to make. He couldn't take it off. Hands taken by Scott Lee. So the back pocket player's having a run down the ground. He's going to be run down. Just gets the kick away. But there's no one home back there. In fact, the ball will go towards David Wildey. He eventually picks it up and will clear looking for Stephen Trick. Trick front position, well spoiled by McGrath. Taken off hands by Dixon. And there's the siren. Then the game's the Elizabeth Oval. A magnificent effort by the Bulldogs. Absolutely thrashing the Roosters. 24 goals, 12, 156. To North Adelaide, 9 goals, 15, 69.